Just give me a sec because it's not starting. Sure. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is um, a one-shot adventure using um, age. Uh, I'm sorry. Adventures in an age I'm dreamed of the Conan 2D20 role-playing game by Bodifius. Uh, I've run this before. Uh, I know Ghost and Aki have played before. They played my game. I think it was last year or early in uh, maybe it was 2018. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're just uh, doing a one shot here and uh, we're going to get started. Um, all right. Get you over. Oh yeah, could you make uh, Ghost's character visible to all? Is it not? Well, I can see the token, but not the names or anything. Is, is that the only thing you can't see on him? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's no problem. I'm not too worried about it. Just yeah, I, f I figured. Everybody see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You each are from the village of Kenleg, um, near the mountains in the middle of Samaria. I believe they're called. What are they called? Um, whatever. Uh, you have been away for several weeks um, on a expedition uh, north. Um, some of your parties have died. This is an ex expedition of war, uh, fighting off the Picts, um, and you are returning home finally. Um, you are the first of the group to return home uh, to um, tell your chieftain of your victory. As you get closer to your village, you see smoke rising up more than what would be normal more than what would be acceptable clearly something is amiss you um, unfortunately have had to uh, discard your horses recently um, as uh, some sort of sickness overtook them and they were not able to bear you all the way home but close enough um, you're able to uh, see what appears to be charred ruins of your childhood homes. You see no survivors, and I'll let you guys go ahead and pick it up from here with some role play. Saxa stands tall at a hill that sort of overlooks the village. An enormous sword slung across her shoulder. After it, it uh, anyone else have it break up? Sorry, I had trouble hearing. Yeah, there's a little bit of an issue with the mm. connection. Can you hear me okay now, or should I disconnect yeah. and reconnect? No, no, we can hear you. All right. Uh, Saxa surveys the scene from a, a hill just above the village, uh, almost coldly, uh, looking for signs of movement, whether friend or foe. Does anyone see any survivors? Kiva, she just lets out kind of a, a bit of an anguished grunt, and she just passes by Saxa and runs down into the rubble and physically searching for anybody. Saxa will follow her down, looking left and right, head on a swivel, 
Just in case someone comes out of nowhere. Dara uh, brings up the rear quite far off and to the side from the main group as they return. He surveys the charred landscape in front of him that used to be their clan home. Makes little change in expression. He leans down to the two small wolves either side of him, Fian and Fife, and the hawk that hovers over his head, Oran. He watches over everything, the way they move through the village, before he finally looks to Fian and Fife. Go. Look for more. Anyone alive? He sends the hounds off before he follows after the others. And Baylor seeing the women take off in the sprint he begins to move forward as well and kind of walking near um, Darag as they're approaching the pigs took everything I do not think we will see survivors miserable shameful is what it is this is not war it is a massacre what do you expect? We go hunting the picks. The picks come hunting us. It's the way of beast. It's natural. It's to be expected. I can kill a man. I can understand killing a man. There were children here. Untouched by this. I will kill every fucking pick I see. Jorah kind of listens to Baylor as he goes on and looks over the ruined village again you have a point this is a bit hmm, excessive well let's hunt for survivors if there are any for now nothing else to do hmm. does anybody would give me a lore lore check Anyone doesn't matter who, or multiple people is fine too. I'm pretty stupid, but I can try. Antarg is pretty stupid too. He just knows how to make animals do stuff with magic. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why. Well, I'm there's doing a there's a twenty. You. I'll take that. <laughs> just handing it to you. I just it's like uh, Kiva. <laughs> yeah, so smart. Kiva, you uh, you generate a momentum. I'll add it. Uh, I've given myself a doom from the complication that uh, Darug rolled. Um, I'm going to whisper you something real quick. Kiva, she's observing the area, tossing some of the uh, the burnt wood, picking up some of the stone, looking under things. She looks over to Saxa. Pix <sighs> didn't do this. Uh, you remember arguments before we left, yes? I vaguely remember this. I think it was someone here who did this. She raises an eyebrow. What of your father? Have you found him? I have found wood. I have found stone. I have not found flesh. You are saying that one of us did this. Someone who lived here. Yes. Some... Don't blame me. I was out with you at the time. <sighs> Who would do such a thing to their own clan? Someone with... the agenda. We no. must discover more, but it looks like if we discover someone who is still alive, they might be a good suspect. Yeah. If they did this, then they clearly left. Hunt them. 
He kind of looks over to Fian and Fife as they kind of dig and scavenge through the rubble, like taking burnt chunks of meat out of several collapsed houses and ripping it away and unclear where the meat came from as they kind of chomp away at it. And he calls them over again, Fian, Fife, hunt! And the hounds quickly start hunting through the village more, much more actively than, than before. They were scavenging before. Now it's like they're genuinely hunting something as they rush around. Perhaps they leave the village on a horse. We may find tracks going out on the edge of the village. Good idea. Kiva, I will help you pick through the rubble for more survivors. Perhaps they can tell us more. Yes. Uh, I will go to the edge of the village and look for tracks. And Kiva's gonna go straight to her home, the uh, or the chieftain's hut, I guess would be. Um, Kiva, can you uh, roll me perception? Sure. Or uh, uh, that'd be uh, observation, I guess. It's fine. Uh, yep. Uh, get a momentum. Um, as you go into your father's hut, you're looking around and you see something out of the corner of your eye uh, as a club is swung at your head. Uh, how do you ev evade this? Mm, Kiva will kind of lay uh, so the club comes towards her she kind of falls flat on her back and then will spring back up and immediately uh, punch at whatever is trying to hit her you do and you punch someone in the face hard and you hear Ugh! and flying back you notice uh, who it is it's your younger brother Derek um his lips are bloody from where you punched him, and he, he, as he gets his wits about him, he looks up at you in surprise. Give up their sister! Dick! And she comes over and picks him up, uh, first grabbing him by the hair, and then the shoulder, and lifting him back onto his feet. Oh, damn it! Hey. <sighs> uncle! It is Uncle! He came Anna. with men. They came through the town and killed everyone. Father had me hide. <sighs> Kiva spits onto the ground. <sighs> of course it's him. Always been angry. Better. Uh. <laughs> Chieftain's brother. My uncle. Him. Um, the scene switches as you're talking to Saxa. Give me an observation roll, please. Um, so, okay, so you generated uh, one momentum with that. Um, you do see tracks, um, several horse tracks that have led off um, into the fields around your home. Um, you would guesstimate that there is at least 12 horses. Okay. I'm considering spending momentum for more information but if she's got a count uh that's can she kind of see the direction that they're headed to um yeah it seems like they're headed um uh south of here okay i think that's enough for now she'll uh kneel down looking at the horse tracks uh counting quickly in her head and she nods stands up and starts jogging back to the others. Derek, what are you doing? 
Yeah, Darag hunts through the uh, the rubble alongside Fionn and Fife. Oran circles overhead as he kind of calls the hawk down and sends it out again, scanning the whole area. Thinks for a moment to use his magics, but thinks better of it, given the perceptions of some of the other Sumerians over his rather controversial Pictish magics. Why don't you give me an observation roll? Cool. Um, would I be able to get a bonus from Fian and Fife helping me look? Or? Yeah, sure. You can have a... Um... Bonus. Cool. Should we just do it as uh, a squad? Yeah. So like the one D on either of them. Sure, that's fine. Cool. All right. So I'll roll the one for either of them. And this is the same. So this is from them. Uh, and it's both of theirs, and then do mine. Observation. So two. So with okay, I'll together. generate a momentum for you. Um, you find um, you're a bit, not I guess not surprised necessarily, but you see a spear uh, sticking out of the back of someone. You pull it, um, pull the person's shoulder to see who it is, and you recognize it as uh, Kiva's mother. Yeah, there's a bit of a grunt from Darag. Hmm. <sighs> gonna go well with kind of looks back over the village sees the others kind of coalescing together again before he starts heading that way kind of dropping the woman again just back to the position she was in as he snaps a finger and Fiend and Fife take up either side alongside him and heads back to them um, as you get closer to the building you uh, Saxa and Darag you come out of reasonably more or less the same time you see Kiva inside looking at someone in Baylor looking over their shoulder it doesn't take you very long to see uh, the chieftain's son and the heir uh, Derig uh, Saxa gives a nod to uh, Darog and then uh, approaches the the remains of the home. As she gets there, she raises an eyebrow at the sight of the boy and mutters, disappointing. There it lives, then. Yeah. Well, your mother's dead. He'll be kind of... would... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> he is too young to lead. Yeah. Yeah, dark nods. That is not what Crom decided. Not if this happened. doesn't matter. What matters now is taking care of the problem. We lived. They'll come fix that. I found twelve. Twelve horses headed south. I like those odds. Are there any friendly tribes for us to take your brother to Kiva? There's, uh, we know there's others coming. We're just the first ones back, right? Yeah, but you were the advanced scout party, so it's going to be days before they get there. Um, to Baylor's uh, question, you can roll lore, and I'll give you oh, a bonus good. a bonus die to this roll. Oh, um, Kiva can as well. <laughs> That's a better call. With bonus so or no bonus? Uh, yeah, everybody would have a bonus because Derek can interject as well. <sighs> Um, okay, so that's, uh, okay. you get a momentum for that. Uh, Kiva, you're thinking about it, and you do have um, another um, relative, a cousin, uh, who is full-grown your age, that, ha that uh, is basically in charge of a clan across the mountains. Derig pipes up, What's about her cousin? Tolan. Tolan. Uh, which direction? Like, it's across the mountains, but, like, uh, which... It would be, like, east. <gasps> Cousin's far. Mm. Uh, the clan yeah. comes before vengeance. And I, th I think they will return. They were looking for me and Kiva to kill us. If we die, then our line dies. 
That is what father said. Why want to ambush? Mm. We go to cousin then. If we do not follow soon, we may lose that trail. We go to cousin. Mm -hmm. Is that right, dear? Do we go to cousin? Is this cousin, cousin the uncle's son? No, 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 no. On mother's mm. side. Uh, I think the client comes before vengeance. There will be a time, but if we don't take care of the line, our clan will fade. Mm. Saxon, well, face it under her crop. breath, we will surely fade under the leadership of a child. What? Kiva immediately spins on Saxa. You want to risk it? Calm yourself. Yeah. Pipes I, up the green. <laughs> I am simply weighing the cost and possible benefits. So he is cost. And she points over to Derek. Derek just says, Quiet! I am the leader now. I am the chieftain. And we go yes. to cousin. Quiet you! Yeah. You're a pop. And you are and picked as scum. Kiva's gonna punch Derek. <laughs> Ooh. No, no, punch him. <laughs> 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 I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna punch him. <laughs> punch Derek. I love it. Yeah, Derek uh, attempts to kind of sidestep out of the way. Let me. Uh, <laughs> let's, see. <laughs> let's see. Acrobatics. Can this spend momentum? <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. In the way. Spit yeah, Derek, no in the way. Out of the way of it. All right, go ahead and try to parry. It's parry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, parry, parry, parry. My parry. Okay, gonna gonna give Pat doom for this shit. <laughs> I was gonna have him dip out of the way with acrobatics, parries, and the whole other thing is he tries to get away and fails horribly. Knees! He kind of growls as he kind of uh, steps back a bit, and did that get an effect? Uh, it did. It, yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a stun. You're like stunned. So yeah, he sits there as you just. He, he doesn't really get out of the way. He's not, <laughs> not too damaged. Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he, he goes to move, but your fist just hits him square in the forehead, and he sits there kind of shaking it, muttering and growling like a beast almost. What is that for? A lawyer against the leader. Come. Enough of this. We are all Sumerian. <laughs> Respect your chieftain. Except for this one, anyway. It looks at like Derek. <laughs> now that was true leadership, she says, looking at Kiva. Mm, keep a lead. No. <laughs> Respect your chieftain. You know better than that. The boy he is a boy, but Krom chose him this day. It's true. As long as Dierk is alive, he is chieftain. She says. Dierk says. <laughs> Dierk says. If we get hungry, Derek, we can eat your dogs. Come. <laughs> And Tara kind of growls a bit at that, and Fien and Fife kind of both wind around him, both kind of growling at everyone else pretty much uh, here and there, before Tara kind of pulls a small hunk of meat from a pouch on his hip, kind of chews on it, and kind of looks at it. I'm a shaman. Mm. Speaking of hunger, we should sort through this, find what we can salvage. It will be... Uh... Somewhat of a journey over the mountain. Uh, we should take what we can. Uh, what do you say, Chief? Do we leave immediately or salvage? He shrugs. I leave it up to Kiva. <laughs> Good, Kiva. Yes. Let's Kiva. hunt them down then. No, we find food along the way. Oh, that ah, oh, Saxa looks frustrated, but then she sh shrugs. I need help find food. You do know that there is some woodlands in between you and the mountains, and the mountains are called the uh, Iglofian Mountains. Just Perfect. so you get that out of the way, but okay. Just keep track of the rations. We 
pick up more food along the way. Derek just shrugs. We have animals to eat if we need, as I have said. He waves the club towards the two wolves. Yeah, Dara growls and Fiend and Fife follow suit. Keep in mind, Pop. You may be chief, but you attack me or mine. I will not hesitate. Don't make me kill you, Darak. Yes. Enough of <laughs> this. Good. We can kill each other later. Let's get to your cousin. Yes. Yes, that is true. We do have vengeance to look forward mm. to. I will kill those that took my father and mother. And I will lead this clan. Come! Oh, yes, your mother is over there. And he points over to the dead body. <laughs> a ways away. E. Um, I don't know where your father is. Kiva, give me a um, discipline roll. <laughs> we don't get out of the we're village gonna because we're going to kill each other. Yeah, we're going to kill each other before we do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you, you have stiff upper lip. You kind of grin and bear it. Um, Derek, you see his face turn into a frown, and he looks to you for support. Oh, please, roll counsel. <laughs> uh, Baylor's already heading off in that direction. Yeah, Darg, by this point, is probably following him. No. Yeah, walking with... I'm walking with my brother. Okay. Saxa brings up the rear in a leggy lope. All right, give me one sec. I like the soundtrack. <laughs> you wouldn't like the game. Not good. Oh, it's a good game. <laughs> that one <laughs> better. looks like shit. <laughs> you should have named your animals extra rations there. <laughs> this is well, no, I mean, and this that's is the fucked rational. up thing is we get hungry i just cast a spell and a fucking dog walks up yeah. <laughs> out of yeah, the woods <clears throat> yeah sex of whistles and a puppy catches up <laughs> <laughs> i will bring my extra rations <laughs> hello extra rations get a good puppy you'll make a better meal <laughs> You walk for a couple hours uh, over the plains. You don't see any um, sign of horses or horse tracks going in this direction. Um, you know that on the other side of a small forest is the mountains. Um, Kiva, you have made this journey before to Cousins, so you have a general idea um, how to get there, but it has been a long time. Uh, it was probably when you were uh, in your teens. Um, you're, pro you're probably only like 20, early 20s right now, but uh, it was probably when you were 16 you made this journey. So it's been, you know, at least half a decade uh, since you've done it. Um, these woods that you're going to have a very serious reputation. Um, the reputation that they are haunted and that they are not to be entered in uh, in any circumstance. Typically, you would go around these mountains, so you have a uh, decision to make. Do you step into these haunted woods or do you go around and lose time? valuable time it would probably take an extra day to go all the way around it's not large but it's going out of your way like that's going to take some time so i'll let you guys discuss amongst yourselves yeah as we approach the forest and everything Darug doesn't even stop he makes as if he's just going to continue on in unfazed fiend and fife pulling up either side he whistles loudly like a screech more like as the hawk swings down into the forest and takes a perch on one of the branches waiting for him. Kiva looks into the forest, pausing momentarily. She looks down to Dirk. I say we move forward. Uh, what do you say, chieftain? Or are you scared of ghosts in forest? I'm not scared. 
I'm not scared at all, but... Nah, the ghosts won't eat you, the wolves will. Or the saber cats. Never mind that. We should respect tradition. We do not go in the woods. We go around. There, that is what I think. There has to be a reason why we have been long told to go around. Because you do not worship Yebal Sag. You are all fools of the old ways. Well, new ways, I guess. <laughs> Me and my pops will follow in fine. You want to find the way? You follow me. <laughs> you don't lead well. Dieg? Mm -hmm. Yes, sister. Up to you. Oh, well. I. What, what do you think, sister? It's faster if we go through. And. She looks back towards the village. And they may not expect us to go through woods. <laughs> but when our nursemaids told us all those tales of the ghosts and the horrors of this place... I know, but I'm here. Bad horrors here. We will keep you safe. You have no fear of ghosts or spirits when you have us by your side. And the woodsman, the big shaman. He can commune with them, probably. <laughs> Not ghosts, but beasts will do fine. See? Uh, is that a good thing? Better than not being able to speak with a thing that might kill us, or try to. I'm thinking that he might try to kill us. No. no. <laughs> he has his dogs. But we are stronger. Even he knows that, right, Derek? <laughs> yes, and fear and fife indeed. You are stronger than them. So we have decided <laughs> to go. Enough of this talk. Let us go. Yes. Into the forest. Deep we go. <laughs> and you know what? As Derek kind of heads in, um, just follow the way. He uh, will actually, you all kind of hear him start grumbling and growling this strange, uh, it sounds almost like his own wolves that follow him around, uh, but there's these squeaks and pitch it changes all throughout it as um, you do happen to see a rather large number of birds, ravens, crows, as well as kind of, you know, finches, sparrows, pretty much everything kind of fill the forest around almost begin to pick up off their branches and move in to the wood. Uh, and I'll go ahead and pass commune with uh, commune with nature. Like okay. This. Yeah. Um, so first off, I'll do the casting. Uh, let me pull it up for quick use. Um, so baseline is just uh, average D1, but I'm using the Whispering Swarm. So instead of a single creature, I'm calling vermin, which in this case, birds and stuff. Um, which is basically a D0. It's pretty much um, a momentum spend to see how good the info I get uh, is. As he sends all these birds out into the forest to kind of gather information to for him and bring it back. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, it's a yes or no question, pretty much. Um, and he's going to ask, are there other, uh, uh, other people ahead in the forest on the way to the point they're going, pretty much? Okay, go ahead and run. Um, and the more I get, the yeah, the better it is. Yep. So I'll go ahead and roll. Soap. Your pool is already full, by the way. You already have six. Uh, but I'm going to subtract one because oh, I cool. subtract one in every scene. I, I, hey, I remembered that somehow. Hell yeah. Cool. I don't know there how. There you go. Um, but yeah, I still got a roll, though. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to add anything to it because it's a D1. We have some. So I'll go ahead and just use one for this case because he's not really putting his all into it. But you guys do see. You generated one anyway, right? Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, I would generate two there. Yeah, so you're um, full, so, and... Yeah, go ahead. So it's two, and then I'm using one from mm -hmm. the pool yep. uh, for three total. So for three, it's the question is answered concisely and accurately. Yep. Um, 
you, the birds flutter off through the forest as you enter, and it takes a while as you're moving through, and eventually they come back, and one of them flies down and lands on your shoulder, and it reaches its beak into your ear and pulls out a big chunk of earwax and eats it. But it, through that exchange, it uh, responds to you and your magical ways that there is no other people in these woods. Dara Green says, you all see this raven kind of picking at his ear and kind of uh, kind of picks a hair out and he kind of swats at it and it flies up back into the trees. Well, there's no people ahead at least. No tracks. That's good. I'm not worried about that. Ah. We'll be fine. It just continues marching along. Uh, Saxa lengthens her stride to catch up to Diarg and says, uh, If we do run into trouble, uh, you want to keep your distance from me. When uh, the spirit of Krom enters me, I cannot be held responsible for what happens. <laughs> Other than Kiva would have to lead. Hmm. You have been warned, boy. <laughs> and then she starts slows down a little bit and goes back to the back of the group. Baylor will whisper to Dirk, She swing like crazy woman. She's not lying. <laughs> She's crazy woman. <laughs> Just what our clan needs to fight off the picks and now our uncle. I will be yeah. careful. But I can defend myself. He takes the haft of his club and kind of bangs it against his chest. I know you can. You must think wisely, though, Chieftain. You will be a strong, big strong man one day, but for now, let us keep you safe from this whatever is in these woods. <laughs> the clan takes precedence. Yes. If we survive this, Baylor, I will, I will promote you to my shield warriors. Ah, uh, no, make a good decision. You might change your mind after you see me fight. <laughs> <laughs> if if we survive, I assume that you are strong. Mm -hmm. Have to be good at something. <laughs> Very well. How will we learn how to get through these woods? I can... Maybe track ways. Mm -hmm. And we follow the beast tamer. Unless he leads us astray. Then <laughs> we stay lost. I'll keep eyes out too, in case. Mm. Yeah, Dark kind of nods up, up towards the front near Kiva. Uh, I don't like to say, but you're better at the... He kind of points to the past. Or tracking bit. I know easier when I have the pops do it for me. He kind of motions to feed and Fife. Nah, rely on animals. No, rely on animal instincts. Yes. He smiles at that and kind of raises an eyebrow. Uh, I could do that, but you wouldn't like it. Mm. <laughs> Kiva, why don't you give me a survivor roll? Sure, difficulty, this is a difficulty two, mm. so... Mm. Yes, please spend momentum. <laughs> well, we have our pot. You might as well. It, it was. It's you, full. Four dice for. Th is it for? Is it one to one? You can, yeah, it's three it's three one to one. Three. You can only buy up to Next three. three. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely spend it. Get the third dice. Sure. Anything else you have? Yeah, yeah you, we're gonna keep refilling it. Yeah, you you could you could even one. spend two dice if you want, right? Oh, I thought you were gonna spend three. Or all three? Yeah, you could do that too, and then you have you'd roll five dice if that was the case. Oh. Keep in mind, if the target's only two, the chances are you're going to roll more than that and get the momentum back. Yeah. Yes. So you're at three? Sure. Yeah, I'll spend and three. That's a uh, wise beast, man. So you're going to be five. <laughs> you're going to be rolling. <laughs> uh, and you... Oh, yeah, you oh, two of them. Generated... So yeah. Six. <laughs> so you back. generated four, so you're <laughs> maximum <laughs> again. Momentum is good shit. Keep my nose. So yeah, Kiva, you... 
you remember, um, this is just kind of like your element going through the woods. Um, even though you didn't come this way specifically, based on how you remember the land and um, the surrounding forest, how large it was, how long it took you to uh, go around it, that sort of thing, you're able to cut right through it, um, no problem. Um, it takes you, I don't know, eight hours maybe total uh, before you can see the edge of it as darkness is beginning to fall and the open um, land you can see in the distance between you and the mountains that uh, begin to crop up before you as dusk obscures them finally. Uh, you can decide if you would like to push on through the nighttime or rest. Dirig is, uh, he, he started off like walking out in front uh, but he's slowly slowing down and um, he's either falling behind or having to be pushed uh, to keep going at a reasonable pace. So we can see the edge of the woods. Yeah, you're basically at the edge of the woods looking out. Baylor um, mm -hmm. would offer to, to carry you. You want me to carry you, boy? Oh, chieftain. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I won't be carried. You have hey. been through much. No, no, no. It would no. not be an offense. Kiva kind of puts a hand on Baylor's shoulder. Get <sighs> then. Mm. See, yeah, line to uh, the line to the forest with insight. Yes, we race like we used to. Uh, it's getting night time. Should we rest, make camp? The forest. Yes. Yes. But Outside can, of forest, yeah. We can race to the edge of the forest. If you think that's wise, I will, I will race. Yes! And Kiva pats him on the back and she immediately just starts sprinting. Just It's really just to keep him mm -hmm. going and get him out. Give me a um, council roll. Ooh. Yeah, Kiva cannot fail. Um, she, you basically get his spirits lifted, and he runs after you. Uh, he keeps up fairly well. You don't probably run as fast as you possibly could, um, but you finally get just outside the woods, and he's, ah, I, I almost won. My legs are too short. Ah, they don't go longer. I can pull them right now if you want me to. His eyes go wide. She starts kind of going after him. So they grab his legs. Yeah, he just tries to punch you as hard as he can over and <laughs> over. Um, wails on you as you wrestle around with him. Kiva laughs as the other three come upon him. You can make camp out here! Mm. That's good. Looks yes, close to the forest. But not in forest. Exactly, yes. Dora kind of sets about and go heading over to the two wolves. Fear and fife and wood! wood. And he kind of growls and then an actual bark kind of out of his mouth and the hounds start kind of gathering little bits of driftwood and stuff as they've been trained. Uh, I say driftwood. I don't know what I mean by driftwood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they sticks and All stuff. Kindling, kindling. Kindling. That's uh, the word I was looking for. Yeah, so uh, the wolves, uh, they go and help um, bring the kindling. Dierg is exhausted by this point. He's just kind of laying against a rock, and you see his eyes are heavy, heavy. Um, I need to rest. The climb. And he looks... Uh, you can still barely see the mountains in front of you. It's high. Yes, very high. You this need is to fine. rest. <laughs> I got her for something others. Dear looks at Saxa. Tell me about your berserker fury. I have heard of it, but never seen it. 
she sits back, sits on a stone, and starts sharpening um, one of her blades. When in the midst of battle, sometimes when I smell the blood and the fear of my enemies, I feel the spirit of Krom enters me, and all I can think is more blood, more screams. It's hard to describe. Uh, I often come out and I am surrounded by bodies missing, limbs, throats cut, and I hardly remember how it happened. Unfortunately, there have been times, uh, she kind of cocks her head to one side, when friends have stood too close. In the heat of battle, I think. Grom does not always distinguish between the friend and foe. My father called it the rapture of Krom. It is a good phrase because there is nothing like it. She smiles kind of wistfully, like remembering. Uh, he grabs his club and shakes it. I wish to learn this strength. Can you show me? I do not know if it is something learned, boy, but uh, if you are met with battle and you smell blood, embrace it, push down the fear, transform it into joy. I will think on what you've said. And he leans back again. His face, uh, he's got a small smile, perhaps thinking of romanticized combat in his mind. Uh, you all notice that he quickly falls asleep as you're building camp. Uh, you can feel free to roleplay amongst yourselves. He will work with Baylor to set up the camp, get a campfire, start. Sax has been basically sharpening her weapons and not helping out with the camp. <laughs> but as Dierg falls asleep, she stands up and walks over to Kiva, puts her sword back in its sheath. I do not want to like this boy because he is too young to be a chief, to lead properly, but <laughs> he has spirit. I find myself uh, liking him a little bit. <laughs> you plan to join the family? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> she grins. I think that is one encounter he might not survive. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> My family is very sturdy. Oh, uh, do tell! <laughs> Did you say stealthy? <laughs> no, I'm sturdy. I thought. Oh. <laughs> stealthy, sturdy. Oh, I thought you said stealthy. I was like, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are we talking about? I picked up on it, sturdy. Yeah, okay. very stealthy. I was so confused. Mm. I was like, man, that is. Hmm. <laughs> We're all very close in the tribe, and see, we're very and stealthy. No one ever knew. <laughs> no one knew. He was in and out, you had no idea. <laughs> That's yeah. one phrase for it. <laughs> stealthy. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think, we all have seven or lower in despair. <laughs> Cut it. Cut the tape. <laughs> no, leave it in. Alright. Uh, our Kiva looks to Baylor. I can show you if you want. I do not recommend it, Baylor. I remember one day I see a boy uh, fleeing Kiva tent in tears. I am no boy. I am a man. Well. I... You do need to maybe uh, produce an heir in case things don't work out with your brother. They will. Yeah, but just in case. The boy will grow to be a fine chieftain. I look forward to being in his shoe wall. 
If he has me after this is over. If we have him, he's small, weak at this age. He will survive and be a strong man in the future. It would be wise to treat him like an adult, even if he's still a boy. Only Crom can say. I would follow this boy as long as he is alive. I will give my life to ensure the future of the clan, no matter what. The clan will survive one way or another. Mm. I if suppose it will. If we ensure it, yes. Now, who wants this squirrel? Yes. Greasy. Yeah, Dara kind of pulls out another chunk of meat. Yeah. I still have some of my horse. Kind of takes another bite out of it. Damn uh, fucking... Uh. Starting to smell a bit gamey there, Darag. I don't want to waste Shevin. Yes, he was a good horse. How good does he taste? Never had horse meat. It tastes rotten. Yeah. And he kind of shoves the, the last remaining piece towards you. No, I think I will stick with the Fritz Squirrel instead. Good. It's my horse anyway. He <laughs> chomps down on it again. Very kind of finishing the last little bit. <laughs> So, Kiva, yes. when do you intend to show me the sturdiness of your clan? Now. Oh. Good one. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the night passes with the sturdiness of her clan <laughs> being shown. Um, well, <laughs> give me both athletics rolls. There you go. Well, I don't know who's attacking, so I can't say. No, good point. <laughs> Me, well, resistance is like if you're like worn out and you're running too long. <laughs> Sorry, athletics. E uh, either so either both of you, either both pool. of you roll resistance or both of you roll athletics. Athletics. <laughs> sure. Or what? How about He's this? Whichever one you would like. There you go. I have to see. He's enduring. <laughs> oh, ah! oh no. I'm pretty good at athletics. Watch you get like fucking. Yes! Oh, Baylor, Baylor, Baylor. Did how how much did she get there? Just one. Only, only one more. Yeah. I did well. Ba Baylor is very tired and sore afterwards as the morning approaches. Derek is up first and he's over by a rock taking a piss and he's he goes what was all that noise last night it sounded unnatural uh there was a bear it went to scare it away i thought i heard crying yep. i almost yeah. have cried i thought i heard crying too uh, but it, was, uh, it comes with uh bear hunting true the bear <laughs> often cries when it is afraid Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've heard bears make that noise, and it's not usually when they're afraid. What do you do to the bears, then? <laughs> Fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Darg laughs, but doesn't say anything else. Dear Egg looks very confused. Well, are we going to leave? You did not eat last night. Um, Saxa will toss him a ration. Huh. Why, thank you. He reaches down and takes it and begins to eat it. Um, that was... I will remember this when I come into my my kingdom. When our clan raises up and destroys all the other tribes of Samaria and the Picts. As Grom will. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see when Sog brings it all back down, crumbling upon you. Looks over. He looks confused, not even really understanding what you're <laughs> talking about. 
Garg smiles and kind of continues along. Well, then, are we leaving or not? Yes. We climb. You do begin to climb. Um, it takes some while. Yeah. I was going to say, actually, Darg would, uh, seeing the, the height of the peak, he kind of motions on. Good. You all go ahead. I will meet you up at the top. What? <laughs> up away. Up ahead. I am confused. What are you Darn. doing? I'll meet you up ahead, I said. <laughs> I don't want to climb this mountain. You complain too much. If he wants You're to stay, let him stay. Yeah. Go on, I'll meet you there. Bah! He, Baylor waves his hand and moves up the mountain a little more slowly than he might have moved yesterday. Yeah. And as the others Bow -legged. Can begin... <laughs> a little bit of soreness in the, in the, uh, the glutes and the hammies. A little bit of sore glutes, yeah. No, the thing is sore. Is that teeth mark on your thigh? Uh, must have been something during the night. A snake bite. Bear. Yes, bear. That's yeah. how much, is bear, yes. How much, how much do we have in the pool? Uh, <laughs> I think six, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Oh, five, I'll, because I'll it's a new scene. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so everybody else kind of heads along. Dark, almost. It, as they head up and they look back, it almost looks like he's gone back into the forest. And then they don't see him for a while. Um, but I'm going to cast Sorcery, turn into a bird, and fly up ahead and wait for him. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and um, cast. Spend one momentum yep. to do that, is that right? I'm spending three. Yeah. Okay. Just to reduce the... Wow. cost of it so it's five the target for bird is one generate um, four back so which is spent on basically making it not really cost resolve basically so he uh he heads off kind of within the forest not very far in as he kind of conducts this rather minute ritual and kind of sends fiend and fife up after the group um but he and Orin, his hawk both you you guys see Orin suddenly fly overhead and there's a big huge uh, pitch black raven kind of flying alongside uh, the bird which you'd probably recognize it's always hanging around overhead and both of them seem to fly up ahead as Fian as Fian and Pythe begin you know running after the group of you so you spent three for extra dice um, and then you generated mm -hmm. uh, four momentum with those moment <clears throat> with the four momentum you're reducing your resolve cost is that correct yeah basically okay. um to zero yep pretty much um it doesn't have a min that you can reduce it to it costs this one? Uh, one to cast which um i have to well technically it's yes yeah, that would be reduced yeah so um it's it's because it's only one to turn into a bird or fish or something like okay. that and then i basically spent the rest of it um well, actually, you know what, because it'd only be one, and then I guess that would be one scene, so I'd just spend uh, two of it, so we'd be back to full, pretty much. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, um, one second. <laughs> the fucking Gibson chat. <laughs> oh my god. That's the Raven, man. <laughs> oh, this game's already killing me. This game. It's so, <laughs> so good. Alright. Um, so Darog takes to the air. Um when you guys look back you don't see him any longer, so you're not exactly sure where he went. But his uh his wolves are with you. Uh Dirig uh the first going is fine. It starts to get very cold. Uh, you do have some furs on, but you're not exactly dressed for what's to come. Um, and oh yeah, that's right. Actually, we wouldn't be at full because it would have cost me like the two extra to not rip my clothes to pieces. 
uh, or one extra. So yeah, we'd, we'd be one under full. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. So you're at 13. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, you're going up through the mountains. And um, I would like you to, uh, everyone who is actually making the trip on foot, uh, please give me a survival roll, difficulty two. Uh, everyone's going to need to make this. So uh, if you mm -hmm. spin momentum, uh, it may not be there. Um, so someone needs to do it first, whoever wants to. There should be a I six have in the a pool. Low survival. You go first. Well, you go first. Actually, I I get one x one focus on there, I guess, but my general scores are bad. I'm gonna add a um, add a momentum. To yeah. Okay. So you're down to two momentum now, and you roll three dice. Uh. Um. Okay. Um. So, Sex, as you're going up, you're also having uh, a tough time. Uh, just the snow is deep. Um, your huge sword is causing issues, uh, just moving it around and such. Um, you're just slowing everyone down. Who would like to go next? I'll do it. Uh... I'll spend one momentum as well. Okay. Ah, yeah, so you're able to power through the snow. No problem for you. Uh, Kiva, you're up. Um, you have probably not, but I might as well ask. Uh, does this count as a rural part of our homeland? Yes. Yes, I can reduce it by one. All right, cool. Difficult. So you're at one. Mm. Oof. So, um, but hey, I did it. All right, so you, you succeed, um, and I'm not going to take the doom, actually. Something else is going to happen. So you're heading up, and you're... Actually, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Ted. Yeah, go I ahead. Homeland, too. Okay. Uh, did you roll one? Okay. Yeah, okay. I rolled okay. one. Yep. So okay, cool. Uh, so everybody passed. Um, the problem... Uh, so you're moving pretty quick, Kiva, and dereg is having a very very hard time uh keeping up with you uh you're everybody's kind of focused on their own thing and by the time you turn around dereg is uh probably 50 feet behind you he's not saying anything obviously because he wants to prove his strength but uh he is almost you know at least uh knee deep uh, or thigh deep in snow and he's like trudging through um, his shirt is pretty thin and his arms are exposed there's no sleeves and he's kind of wrapping himself up trying to put trying to catch up with you guys uh, Baylor's gonna start heading back to get him Saxa grumbles about how they should have equipped before leaving the village Everything was burnt. Not, it did not, whatever is pointless to argue now. Ah, mumble, mumble. <laughs> uh, Baylor is gonna get back to Deer unless there's anything in the way. Yeah, no, you can get back to him. Um, uh, I'm, I'm fine, Baylor. I'm fine. Chieftain, we are a clan. Clan is stronger together. Come on! And he's gonna actually take off some of his furs and bear the brunt of the the cold. And um, I'll take off my uh, basically clearly it's my uh, torso furs and throw it over his shoulders. Try to warm him up a bit. Come on! Let me help you. No sense in being so proud; it kills you. <laughs> okay. I'll remember this, Baylor. Thank you. Ah. Uh, it should be done for anyone. Just remember that. He will lift him, try to piggyback him there. Yeah, you kind of hoist him onto your shoulders, um, and you head further up into uh, the snowy peaks. Um, you get up to uh, a part, um, and you're looking around, and it looks quite cold. Or it is quite cold, and it looks... Uh, like the snow is beginning to fall and um, it's not looking uh, particularly 
um, easy to pass. Um, however, uh, Kiva, you have made this trip before, and you remember that your father had said that there are uh, rumors of an ancient pass that uh, goes through the mountains. Um, and uh, you do, you're not sure where that is, um, or if it's only legend. Um, or you can just try to continue on pushing through the snow in the pass that you're uh, on now with Deer Egg on Baylor's shoulders. There is rumor to be path between mountain, easier way to the village. I, I have only heard of said path. Maybe uh, is Derek with us again? Derek is flying overhead as a raven, <laughs> basically. Mm. But by this point, you've gotten up ahead a little, and he's probably like perched nearby or flying up ahead. Maybe dogs can find path because Dag decided to stay. Uh, I think, uh, I think we tried to find path better than freezing to death. I agree. Yeah, Derek is shivering even though, um, with the furs on. I, 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 I can, we could go through the snow. Do we even know if this pass exists, sister? We can find pass. It will make uh, venture easier. There's no reason to make things harder. That's, uh, dumb. <laughs> ah, so... Uh, if there is a pass, uh, perhaps we can find uh, some trail leading to it, uh, some sign of passage. Mm. Yes. Kiva, what do you know of the trail? Anything that, uh, how it can be found, what it looks like? Kiva will kind of think back on any of the lore history she's heard of, rumors, um, and try to maybe find evidence that kind of links to things that she's heard to try and find this entrance. Um, you can go ahead and give me a survival or a lore difficulty three uh how much momentum do we have uh, not much uh it's if you if you click on your token and click status it'll tell you you have one yeah oh okay well let's use it yes <laughs> no <laughs> but i got a momentum back so it's nice not if you fail Oh no! Uh, that's, you you no you pass though. That's three, yeah. three oh! versus three. Because yeah, every time every time you if you get uh, below your focus, it, it generates two yeah. instead of one. So if it, if you see that green, whatever green dice is gonna give you two successes. So, um, yeah, you um, um, so you um, are looking about in the heavy snow, and you remember something your father had said about a carving in the face of the mountain that looked like Krom. And uh, you're, you're kind of searching around, and something catches your eye. You see this. Um, it looks like a nat almost natural rock face, and you see you see it as clear as day of what something looks like a giant warrior with a um, sword above his head and in between his legs you kind of are looking and it looks like there's a a gash in the in the mountain a cave perhaps oh man that's not what I expected <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not not that kind of not 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 that high to be a gash. Kiva, she points uh, towards the statue. She just starts hustling and making her way over there. And she gets to the statue. She kind of points between the legs. Look, passage. Uh, by all means, let us go into the gash. That was it. It usually is for me. <laughs> mm. uh, Darag at this point, seeing that they've pretty much gotten through the worst of it, he'll kind of uh, fly up to, like, just inside of the place, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of inside of the actual, like, enclosed area. Uh, 
of the gash <laughs> and turn back into a man <laughs> up ahead of him. So that when pretty much when they turn the corner getting into there, he's there waiting for them. All cocky, like always. You pass to the I gash. didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see him there. Where is Kiva looks the to uh Dereg. <clears throat> You're all slow. You don't help. Next time we eat dogs. Next time I'll summon you up one. I'll call some big old beast. Just call more puppies. Kiva. You like puppies? Yes. I am thinking about your cousin. What about him? You are sure this is safe, that uh, he would not side with your aunt? Very safe. On mother's side. She nods. Chief Derek, can you walk now? You, you of course I can walk, I can walk, yes. Put me down. All it right. was just the snow in my short legs. When I grow into my own, that won't be a problem. I will be taller than you. Of course, of course. Go ahead and put him down. Yeah, he straightens his back and... Where to now, sister? This place looks like a... a maze. Hmm. Well, I know general direction of, uh, of, uh, village of cousin. We go that way. In the cave, you know the general direction? How? Y yes uh, Come, instruct me. Hmm. Well then, let us go. <laughs> she looks to Darag. And you, uh... Can you do something too? For what? once. I don't know. You're a wild man too. Ah, you want me to lead the way now? No, no, no. You assist. Fine. Kind of, uh, you see him kind of lean down and look over the stone and uh, kind of almost sniff at the ground for a moment uh, and before he kind of turns to Fian and Fife. Fian, Fife! Stay close! I don't like it here. And it looks back to Kiva. I'll try. Right, it's, it's stone. I don't. I don't like stone. I like the forest floor and the wet in the mud. This isn't easy to track in. Do your dog smell? And he'll kind of look to the hounds, uh, look to Fian and Fife before he kind of moves up ahead a bit, and he'll. Try with their help. He'll try and uh, scent if anyone's been through here. They don't. They don't smell any people. Mm -mm. No. There's. Th I mean, this is like. Um, it's definitely not been. Oh any, yeah, the, this the, the dust is thick on the ground. There's cobwebs everywhere. Um, the, the air is stale. It dark turns back to Kiva. And the pups don't smell anything. No one's been through here in a long time. But do you want me to? <laughs> You're gonna owe me when this is all done. He um, kind of waves his hand almost as if to talking to the lot of them. This is for the this is for the clan. This is not some owing thing. Well, no more outcast after this. I help. Up to Chitan. We'll see how well you help. <laughs> Fine. He, uh, he'll again kind of cast, uh, I, I mixed up the name of it before. Uh, uh he'll cast, uh, Communion with Wild, the uh, eyes above and below. And I did mix it up before. Still rolled well enough to do fine with it before, but, uh, um, he's basically trying to find the way out, um, and he's gonna 
conjure up pretty much the vermin of this place, spiders, rats, whatever else might live within, um, to try and seek out some kind of entrance or exit, basically, aside from the one we're at, uh, to mm -hmm. try and help find the way. Okay. So they're doing a simple D0 against int 5. You have no uh, momentum, so... I have to do my so. Thing. Keep yep, so he has to... Oh, we don't have momentum. We don't want him to fuck up this spell. You know what? That makes it more interesting. You can, you can um, buy but, Doom, too. Buy with Doom. Oh, that's want. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You're right. You're right. Um, I'm going to spend... Or give you three Doom. Jeez, that's crazy. I have 16 Doom. Feels good, man. It's, trust me, you don't want me to fail a spell. It's a bad time for everybody, because then all the creepy crawlies that I'm sending out to help might not be helping no more. Um, and then they'll know where we are. So, yeah. Um, it's a D target three. Um, but I got five. Uh, six, actually. Yeah, six. So it generates three mm -hmm. um, momentum for us, which is good. Um, and then they do, the vermin themselves do a test against five, basically, with five dice. Um, do we have a baseline button for rolling? Uh, there should be. It is... Just roll five. Just roll five d twenty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they're basically. Oh shit. Uh, it's okay. We don't have to. Uh, twenty. Oh, well, that's okay. a complication. So the twenty is a complication. Uh, so that in this case would really just be doom, I guess. Oh. But they've got two. So two that hit the five. So it's um. Because uh, it's just that. Earn momentum, will determine the quality and amount of information, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so, as above, but with single, I did, uh, so yes or no response, you know, that basically they're going to find something, presumably, um, but uh, clarifying. What's, what's the difficulty? Oh. For them. Three. Oh, so they fail. Um, for them, it's difficulty, well, for them, it's difficulty zero against target of uh, int, int five. They roll the five dust, and it, it's basically just seeing how much uh, momentum determines the quality of the info. Okay. Right. In this case, of hit them trying to find the way out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so it's only a two out of five, pretty much. Yeah. So okay, you um, you send these spiders and moths and other things flying off. Um, they come back and uh, land on your head and all over your body and. You get the sense that they want you to go forward, um, but they're only able to give you um, directions through this part of the area. Uh, they're unsure of uh, how to get out, per se. Man, Dard kind of looks to the others, and you you all see these, like, moths and these rather large, I mean, like, nitrantial-ish spiders in some cases. Uh, kind of clamber around the area and kind of fill a bit more. The moths getting caught in the spider's webs and uh, some of the moths almost seemingly eating a couple of spiders as he kind of seems to whisper in a hushed tone towards them as he kind of looks to the others. Alright, it's this way. He kind of turns to his shoulder again away from everyone and you hear that kind of weird whispering again. I don't know the way out now. They're stupid little tiny things. Not smart like the pops. We find way out. This is good start. All right, um, you uh, begin heading down this long hallway, and um, there's all these bugs everywhere, and you're looking around, and you hear this. <coughs> like this odd sound and your heads tilt up and you see rocks falling from somewhere and you know who knows how far up just plummeting down at your heads uh, I'm gonna spend five dooms to do a mid-size rock slide um, oh shit so let me spend my doom guys the rocks are literally falling <laughs> Uh, all right, so everyone needs to make an athletics check against a, um, let's see, um, yeah, I can reduce the cost by one. Okay, so uh, everybody make a, um, I would say that would be an 
observation or athletics check versus a difficulty of two. Athletics. Uh, yeah, Darug's going to try and tip out of the way with the pups. Now, I, I assume they're kind of off on their own. Yeah, this and let me this the level set. You have three momentum in the pool. Okay. Darug uh, would like to take one if no one else wants it. I I won't be unless I. Um. So. Uh, does Darug look like he's going to get out of the way of this shit? I know. It's, uh. Oh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you're unsure. <laughs> You're unsure. It's coming. I mean, yeah. it's everywhere. Um, that's that's my focus. Get, um, okay, so we'll deal with that. So I used one. Of okay, them. so hold on one second. So you used Sorry. one and you got uh, two one. back. Okay, so momentum pool is currently five. Uh, Darig is able to leap out of the way. Soxa, I'm gonna roll damage against you. Um, it's five damage dice. Oof. That's not too bad, actually. Um, I don't bad, think yeah. it has effects on it. Let me look. Stun, stun, probably stun. like. Yeah, stun. There, it stun. doesn't say there is. Um, so. Is that the red? Or that's the red. Um, so some rocks come flying. Sucks that you kind of jump out of the way, and one of the boulders just comes crashing down on your left shoulder, um, spraining it instantly. You don't think it's dislocated as you kind of fall out of the way. Uh, Keevan Baylor, what would you like to do to help yeah, we'll Derek as well? Um, difficulty will be raised by one. Uh, I would do that and spend a momentum. Sure. <laughs> so difficulty three. I was also gonna do this. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> oh. So, both are like so how, how, yeah, how does it look as you get Derek and yourself out of these falling rocks? I'm gonna spend one. Yep. I uh, I maybe notice it before he does. And remembering that he's this journey's taking the toll on the young chief greater than any of us thus far. He just kind of runs, dives, and, you know, kind of like trying to save someone from getting hit by a car, basically <laughs> yeah. dives and tackles him out of the way. Yeah, you push him out of the way. Kiva, how does it look as you evade as well? And she's about to go for Diag, but Baylor was a little bit quicker. So she kind of hops almost over them. And it rolls out of the way of any of the boulders that are coming down, just narrowly getting missed by one of them. Yeah, you all end up on the opposite side of these boulders as they continue to crash down behind you. Um, almost, it's very high, like 20 feet of boulders. It would be hard to go back the way you came. And Sex is slightly injured. Saxa rubs her shoulder, kind of rolling it back and forth. Uh, she's looking extremely angry. We should have gone around. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Rocks are just mm, part of adventure. <laughs> You're fine, right? Uh, if I'm going to hurt, I like it to be from something I can kill. You need arm snap back in place. Ah, uh, it's fine. Mm. You're kind of a pop as she kind of pops it back in place herself. You can always hit the rocks if you want to unleash some steam. <laughs> yes. Better not to get me stuck. <laughs> yeah, you'd kill the whole mountain by the time you're done. <laughs> Let's go. Before more rocks come. I love Doom. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite parts of the system, just being able to be like, "Oh, and there's a spike trap here. What's that? You're gonna spend. You're gonna take uh, a couple momentum from the Doom pool, or you know, put Doom into the Doom pool for it. Okay, cool. You you jump out of the way of the spike trap into another spike trap. <laughs> Dirty. So a good. Trap. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're walking uh, past the rocks. Um, 
And uh, I would like everyone to give me an observation roll. Let's see what the difficulty is going to be. Um, yep. I think we get one more momentum from that because I have strong back. Okay. And I apparently oh. generate one additional success. I need to, nice. for whatever reason, my um, Z status wasn't working for it. Oh, okay. Yep. Let's try to see what oh, it was. Yep, you got it. I, I added it. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, um, hmm, let me see. Where would that be? Where would that be? Give me just two seconds. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, uh, difficulty is going to be, um, two. Observation. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, actually, right. I forget. There's a button I can use to check. I'm going to spend a moment. Mm -hmm. That's great, good. It's uh, probably a good idea. Hey. Uh, Darig, you, um, you're passing a, uh, like a hallway, and uh, you see slithering t through two uh, like pillars, um, a rather large snake. Uh, let me switch Ooh. the scene real quick. Um, I don't see all of you. That's strange. Um, oh, let, I'm going to give somebody some torch light. There we go. Um, yeah. Hey! It's your boy Giant Snake. No one else seems to notice it quite yet coming. And Dar kind of puts a hand up and motions for the others to stop. Hold up. What? Well, there's dinner ahead. Yeah. Uh. Puppies. <laughs> no, no. Big old snake. Oh, finally. It's like this... I think she's going to use the axe this time. She unsheaths her great axe that she got in the last big battle that they had. Starts walking toward the front. What, what, what are you doing? I'm going to kill it. Fine. Let's just kill it quick then. Yeah, it, it, by this time it slithers out and notices you guys there and blocks the uh, front. Um... So if you don't know combat works, uh, you just go first, and then um, I go second. Um, side question: Is it a toughened or is it a uh, the big one? Uh, why would I tell you that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, for the purpose of the spell. Uh, well, yeah, I don't want to. You would never um, know. I I don't think he'd try to take control of it anyway, because they're just going to kill it for me because they need food. Is there an initiative or anything? Uh, there is not, but I'm actually going to take control of initiative by spending two doom. Nice. Uh, typically, you guys would just go first. PCs usually go first. Um, so it's going to go. Um, so I don't know that Derek would be in front necessarily. So um, I will let you guys choose who's in front. If you would like. Uh, Imagine. I think forward yeah you said you were moving yeah, forward so up. that makes sense to me so both uh, the women in front uh, good call uh, <laughs> yeah dark yes. doesn't need to be up front he's getting there and kill him <laughs> sax is with her brother but uh well, she's near the front at least yeah, let me, um... in fact yeah dark might even be a bit more to the back by this point like I mean, kind of no, I see, because he has the pups with him. I'll so take that spot. So, yeah, he has Fian and Fife as well, so. Alright. Um, the first thing it does is attempt to um, attack Saxa being in front. Um, it's going to use its uh, envelop attack. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, three doom. Oh, wow. To give myself five dice. Nice. 
Uh, so uh, two successes, um, and it's gonna grapple. Oh. Ah. Shit, that's a lot of effects. I don't think it matters really. It only has one thing uh, it can I do: is grappling. Um, I think it determines the difficulty of breaking the grapple, right? Uh, let like me that. find out. Yeah, equal to the oh, fuck. So it's equal to the number of effects rolled. It's the difficulty for your acrobatics or athletics to escape it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So this snake just comes up and just wraps around Saxa very quickly. Um, it's just like basically all over. It's even hard to see her versus the snake. And uh, you guys are up. Okay, so it's wrapped around. Yeah. You know. mm -hmm. uh, hold on, I'm looking. That's at a wound as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a wound. Oh, well, yeah. Probably not after armor. Oh yeah. What's well, your what's your, yeah? What's your um, soak on your head? Three. Yeah. So you're gonna take uh, two damage. So you're down to seven. Um. So what do I have to do to be able to attack it? Um, does it say you can't I attack it? it? Uh, I don't think it matters. I think you can attack it. Uh -oh. uh, let me look. Grappling. Um, it doesn't say they can't. Yeah, I think you can still attack it. Alright. Um, it does stop the snake from using the envelope, of course, while it's doing yeah, it. Yeah, but it has const it'll just do constrict after, right? So. Yeah, exactly. Okay, she is gonna go crazy. I mean, it's it's got her in the crypt, so I don't think she can help yeah. it. <laughs> so she's gonna enter um, Berserker mm -hmm. using, let's see, Wild Fury. Let me see. I believe it that. should be three for your Berserk. So basically you'll have three momentum on every turn pretty much to use. But he gets doom. For every... well, well, technically what it is, I believe, is the snake gets three momentum as well. Enemies get momentum and you get momentum, right? So, right. I guess in that case it would basically be doom. So you take a point of fatigue um, and you become enraged, uh, which reduces your, vigor your maximum vigor score by one. Um, while you're enraged, you gain one bonus moment for all melee and thrown attacks, so you get a momentum for that. Um, so it's three because of the extra wild talent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I get... Uh, I get. So. Oh, what just happened? Hold on, guys. One sec. No problem. That was strange. Um, okay. That's weird. Okay, go ahead. Uh, do I, I get Doom for that? Um, uh, the, you get the talent momentum. says... Yeah, the talent says enemies also get that momentum. Basically, I... I oh, man. Um, but I guess it... I mean, realistically, you could basically use it as Doom. So you get two, and so I get two. one, I think. I mean, yeah. I get you get two. Hold on, guys. I'm having my PCs crapping no out. Hold on. No problem. So yeah, with um, let's uh, with let's take let's theory. take five minutes real quick. Okay. Cool. Yes. He was all excited when he saw her. <laughs> Our babies would take over the world. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I I really miss that. I didn't so. I didn't like the last couple seasons of it, no. but that part made me laugh. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I won't go. Like, he was one of the best characters in the later part, which I think says something about how the plot went. I think that really says something about how the I plot. I mean, they, went. Just, they just did some the weirdo shit, like an Avengers-style takedown of a White Walker, with like they yeah. just forced all those dudes together. It was really ham-fisted. Yeah. They just wanted to clear. They wanted to get it over with. Yeah, they were, they were clearing cast space and be like, hey, bro. You're All right, let's get going here. Um, I think Matt's hey. going. Oh, okay. 
Um, well, we can resolve Saxa's stuff. Sure. What, what would you like to do, Saxa? I'm going to spend the three momentum in the pool to attack it. I'm going to get three extra dice. Okay. Nice. Well, remember, you get three baseline from your Berserk. I know. I'm going to spend those on damage. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, you can so do I get, hit. Mm -hmm. And I get three, atta three effects, so that's three extra from Vicious and one extra from oh, Intense. Yeah, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'm going to spend the remaining three of my momentum on damage. She's going to try to just oh, man. whack the crap out of this thing. So that would be a total of 15, depending on what its soak is. Okay, so 15 before soak. Correct. <clears throat> God damn. Uh, let's see. That's two. Um, so it's 13. Um, that kills it, actually. Um, but mm -hmm. now I'm in... Um, how many... Uh, oh, yeah, you're in for that generate? Uh, how many momentum does that generate? Uh, so the two that well, oh, so well, if it one, one yeah. because uh, difficulty on an attack roll is typically way. two. Um, it doesn't have any reach that is gonna yeah. uh, make that any difference. So it's gonna be uh, one. All right. So she kills it, but she's still berserking. Um, you see Saxa uh, get picked up by it, and then as it squeezes her. Uh, just a joyous smile crosses over her face and she kind of lets out like a ululating war cry and reaches back with her axe and swings it over head and it cracks straight into the thing's skull and uh, sinks deep and as it starts to collapse in the ground its coils releasing her she starts to try to pull the axe free uh, you've all been around her enough to recognize from her pants and uh, bloody grin that she is still berserking. <laughs> I just realized you meant pants and like breathing. Yeah, like heavy I thought breathing. You meant to be like... Yes, because she put on her berserker pants. <laughs> yep. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Her big girl those pants. Are, those are the berserker <laughs> pants. We have to stop. <laughs> oh. Uh, There's been a lot of uh, word uh, can go either yeah. way. What? Man, a lot of phrasing. Yeah. Stealthy. Yeah, stealthy <laughs> gash <laughs> pants. Uh, to be expected from a bunch of savages. Stealthy yeah. gash pants. <laughs> well, as she strikes it down, what are you guys going to do as you can see that sex is still dangerous? Darg is uh, taking don't a, keep a couple of steps back. Yeah. Um, um, uh, Looking at Kiva a bit. And I grab Dierg and pull him right back behind the other gentleman. Uh, Decide! Yeah, if Kiva's pulling back Dierg, then I guess it's on me since I'm the closest. I'll try to restrain Socks and calm her down as well as that's about to go. Um. Yeah. Um. You guys can do contested athletics rolls if you want to, like, bear hugger or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for the modified full Nelson, but sure. Just try to not get cut to pieces, we'll see. Um, <laughs> By the great act, too. Yeah. yeah. My computer is just dying now. Mine is too... <laughs> What the hell? I does not like this lighting. Oh, I'll spend a momentum. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Tet, are you going to spend the two doom to make me attack? Otherwise... Oh, please do. I, I, I'll just still be berserk, but I won't have well, to attack my ally. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to assume that he will, and also assume that you're going to go nuts it makes scared. sense Baylor would, like, jump on you to I'll try use and stop you going for sure. Holy shit. Case. Did you use the Ooh. extra three momentum on that? Ah. No, I didn't yet. I, uh, I guess I should have, but I have four oh, successes bless. anyway, so. Thank you. Alright, um, so, I would, do I defend, or do I attack him back? What would I be doing? Like... You're insane. 
Uh, this is right. just athletics. Okay. So I would say, um, even though he's grabbing you, you're you're going to be doing athletics, not to be held, um, because you can't like attack him with your sword right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to take that doom, but yeah, you are able to restrain her. Calm down, Saxa. Come back from Chrome. It's gone. You got it. It's gone. Ah! <laughs> she'll she'll try to come out of it, I guess. Uh, that's a discipline. Mm -hmm. Did you get any more uh, momentum for the? Well, he was targeting your. Yeah, he would. He would get one, two. So. He would get yeah. two. Well, he'd get three. So the wouldn't he? Um, oh, it's four. Yes, yes, he would. No, yes, he I would. Mean, if I'm gonna come out of it. I have to roll discipline. Yeah, you're you're um, at maximum. But how many momentum are in the pool? To spend? Six. Six. Yeah, max. We have lots. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> She's still berserking. <laughs> God damn it. What's everybody else doing? Uh, the Darg has kind of gotten back a ways, but he sees that, uh, that uh, Baylor is kind of beginning to rein her in, or trying to at least. Someone could try to disarm me. <laughs> yeah, well, mm. you go ahead, Darg, you first. I mean, Darg <laughs> doesn't look like he's about to go up there. He kind of looks to Yukiva and Derek, and he's like, Perhaps you should get him down that pass there, in the corner, so she doesn't smash his head in. You can do it! Well, she's pulled Derek, Derek back towards her. That was kind of what she did on yeah. her turn. Um, and she just looks to Derek. You take Derek! I'm not a pussy! And she you know, steps up and will disarm Sack. So. Jesus! Dark kind of steps <laughs> over next to Dark. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Dark and Dark! Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my god. It just sounds like we're yelling at each other. <laughs> so, Saxa, I think you have to roll to disarm, but you get three extra momentum because you're opposing. Okay. Would that be. What would that be to kind of grab her, her own weapon a little bit? Um, athletics again. Okay. And I get three momentum? Cool. Yeah. So five days? Yeah. Oh. That's three. Let's see what she rolls. This will be the one she succeeds. Yeah. yeah. I want to keep my weapon! No, you rip it out of her hand. How does it look? The Kiva has, uh, I guess Baylor has her in kind of a full Nelson almost, just holding her back. And she's just swinging her axe wildly above her head and trying to swing it at him. She jumps up a couple times and finally she manages to get her hands wrapped around the battle axe. And she puts a, a foot on Sox's chest and just yanks back, pulling the, the axe away from her. That's that! Come back! And Sox is like literally foaming at the mouth by now. You're gonna bite your fucking throat out. <laughs> so... I guess I just roll discipline again. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Alright. Uh, I don't know. How many momentum are in the pool? Can I spend Five? my no, berserker sticks. momentum on this? You can You can spend momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, probably but, not your... But my I think berserker is... Oh, no. No, yeah, no, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah. And how many, okay. how many are in the pool? Six. I think yeah, six. You you can uh, okay. it's if you click on yourself and click the status button, it'll tell you. Oh yeah yeah okay. Six. Yeah. Well, I gotta come out of this, or this is gonna be ridiculous. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spend. Hey. Finally. Go. Hey. Six. Nice. Okay. One sec. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you're able to break out of it. How's that, that look? Oh, you, you still made it off of the first five dice, but the max you can go up to is five. Without okay. outside help, yeah. 
so she. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, yeah, you got out of it, so you. She slowly starts to calm down, and her panting grows slower and slower, and uh, she closes her eyes for a minute. I am good. I am good. I am good. Get off, get off. Yeah, Baylor lets her go. And me worry there. Ah, sex is fine. D uh, did I... <clears throat> she looks around the room, uh, looking slightly concerned. Uh, you are all... I, I did not kill anyone. You killed Snake! Yeah, yeah, you killed a snake. And all on your own, one it. Yeah, one, once everyone's kind of like, it's clear that Sax is there, Dara kind of pushes up past Kiva and stuff over to the snake. Uh, good cow, plenty of meat. You should take a tooth as a trophy. Uh, yes, she goes up and starts trying to yank a tooth out of its mouth. Yeah, you're able to get it out. Dara raises up an axe, similar to Sax's, another huge great axe, uh, this kind of Dane axe almost as he hefts it down into the snakes and starts cutting into it to chop, chop it open, get some good meat off of it. As uh, Bian and Fife begin ripping into the holes they cut in. This is what you're good at, Dara, being a butcher. <laughs> you're not wrong. Nectar rips out the other two and takes them to uh, Diarg. Uh, this is for you. He blinks and that was amazing I will take it thank you was it you slew it even though it had you engulfed in its coils all I remember is the joy and then <clears throat> bail or sitting on me ha huh. you see she is very scary well, where do we go next? Forward! Onward! No, no, no we just keep going. Yes. Uh, kind of hefts away several chunks of snake and kind of haphazardly tosses it into his pack. Don't put that with the bad horse meat! Thank I finished the bad horse meat! This is why he's so crabby. This is why he stands at back when there's combat. I'm not suggesting. Sox should kill me. I don't want to die. That's useless. But he's a he... smart man. I thought she was going to rip out my throat. He starts grabbing some of the meat chunks. At least your throat is covered with beard. You got lucky this time, Baylor. There is always another day. I hope it does not come. Um, who would like to roll me survival? Difficulty three. I will. And I'll spend two momentum. Okay. Nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, was it just one? Two of them. I uh, gained two momentum <laughs> back. Um, yeah, you're... You are pretty sure you pull the old trick of trying to find out where the um, air is coming from, uh, where you're going from. You see this bridge over here. You're pretty sure it's coming from this way. Yeah, I, like look around, see if any moss is growing anywhere, like a rock or two. This way. Are any of these interior rooms still here? Like when we pass by, do we yeah. see a, mm -hmm. a door? Yep. What? What is this? She it's says, a door. But a door in a cave? Yeah, you're starting to realize it's more than just a cave, obviously. Are, are the, the crystals glowing as well? Or? Um, No, not really. No, okay. Big old place. Lots of stone. Mm, I don't is like it. Gonna press her ear against the door. Oh, uh, that door! Think. That door is open. That's where the snake came from. Oh, uh, mm. she'll kind of poke around inside for a minute. Okay. Um. Let me see something. 
And she's doing that. Bailey kind of looks around as they're here. We should remember this place. This could be a new home for the clan. With no snake here, this could be very secure. I could be more snake, though. But I don't... I don't want to climb all the way back down the mountain to raid. You didn't climb in the first place. Yes. Wait, how did you get to Mountain Top? Ah, because I'm smart. Uh, and he taps a finger against his head. Lies. Then you can ah. be smart when you get off mountain and go raid. And it's useless when I have to drag other people along. Ah, oh, you drag those dogs around. True. But they had you to follow. And if I still had Shevin, then I'd be riding her all the way up the mountain. That doesn't sound pleasant. I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> Sax, are you going to go in the room, or are you just peeking I, I am, but mm. I can't actually move my character oh. in there. It thinks there's the door. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I wasn't sure what was going on, because I turned off dynamic lighting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, I must have the collider. Yep. Um, you can now if you want. Um, so as you go in, um, I would like you to make me an observation check. Difficulty is uh, two. I spent two momentum. Okay. Uh, so you spent two momentum. And... Ooh. Plus one doom for me. Um, yeah, you see above you, you're like looking around, you see this big uh, open hole in the ceiling, and you see the tip of a giant spear um, pointed down at your head. Just in time, you can move as this thing rockets out of the ceiling and destroys the table right next to you. Uh, she jumps back uh, as it hits the table. Uh, you guys probably hear a crash. Uh, Saxa brings her axe out again, looking up at the hole. Is someone there? Who is that? Dear to me. Yeah, there's Some... you don't see anybody, but... She creeps forward a little bit, trying to peer up in there. What's our clan's name? Uh, whatever you want it to be. Eva, you're the... Oh, you're no! The uh, Baylor, what is it? I'm delegating. Cromag, Kiva Cromag, 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 the stealthiest. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, Saxa calls up. This is Saxa and Cromag. If she doesn't get a response, she'll kind of creep closer. I think maybe. Yeah, you don't. It, it looks like it was something that was triggered. Um, it's like the size of a small ballista bolt. Um, yeah, you look up into the hole. It's just darkness. You see, there's a bunch of like silver and gold and jewels. You're you're cutting out. I can't hear you. I don't know about anybody else. She starts picking up the loot. Yep. Watch out, there are traps. Mm, that's not good. Let's leave this place. Does, you know, opening the door here, peering through, does any of this look like it's been recently inhabited? No, it's all dusty. It's it's ancient. <clears throat> She'll, uh, sort of do a quick loot and then come out and uh, show everyone a portion of what she found. Oh. Chinese. Dear, for the clan, thank you for finding this for me. You will need this, dear. Uh, the status of our clan will be reduced. You need a little extra shot. I'm having a real hard time hearing you, sorry. Yeah, it's like well, you're very go, far let away. Me out, uh, let me go out. Uh, make sure that I've got my volume up. Too. It sounds fine now. I don't know. Sometimes it's like really mm. shitty, and then it comes back in. Mm. It's good. Weird. Okay. Uh, he'll pick up uh, one of the large 
some tools that we found and put it in there to calm. We will need things like this. That is about plan. She shakes her head. Only the few of us there. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still, I can't barely hear you. Let me make sure that I have my volume up all the way. Where is it? Just it's like it's, it's going in and out. Like yeah, it's fading. like it goes to tinny and then fading. It's a, uh, it's a connection. Like, no, I don't know if it's connection. It'd be more like whenever your your mic's picking up sound, so it'd be oh, the um, detection a threshold be issue. Yeah, detection um, threshold issue. You can fix that. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. You hear me good now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. I changed something. Okay. Um, cool. It, she she can do it. Yeah, I, I heard. I got. I got yeah, it yeah, vaguely. Yeah. It was just. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he. Thank you. I will make sure that you're rewarded for this. Uh, I don't think I could have you protecting me by my side due to obvious reasons, but maybe something different. And he looks up at you and smiles. She starts to smile back, and then she kind of gets a funny look on her face. I find me more things to kill. That is thanks in. Of course. We are children of Krom. I do hope that one day I can fight at your side. Perhaps six feet removed. Social distance. <laughs> she smiles again. Kind of Gives him a hard clap on the back. I like you, kid. Good. Because I am your leader. Come! Let us go! And he starts walking forward. Yeah, let's get out of this stone and case place. I need some more wind in my hair. If we do take this place, I want the room where the trap is my own. That small room? Ha! <laughs> I'll find you the second largest room, well, maybe third, in this third. place. But you can have the second, sister. Yes. Unless you wish to share with Balor. <laughs> Depends. He stops crying like a bear. <laughs> uh -huh. Who cried? You. No. Yes. <laughs> he did, I heard it. I don't remember this. I remember. If I don't remember, then it didn't happen. <laughs> Sarag reaches the upper part of the steps and realizes that these steps lead to an upper level completely separate and hops down to follow with the others. Um, give me one more survival check, Kiva. Uh, difficulty three. I'm going to spend... I'll spend uh, a momentum. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're you you think you know the way out, and it's across this bridge and and just forward a bit. Um, this is the way. One finally. Keep your eye out for a uh, snake track. Or falling rocks? I'll keep both. You head across this bridge, and as you're on the bridge, Baylor, you look down and you see that there's a crack across the middle of it and it's spreading quickly under the weight of everyone. Oh shit! Move! Move! Ah. Everybody okay, give me an athletics good. against a difficulty of one. Is the kid already out of? He's harm? yeah, he's yeah, he's off. Look at this guy. He's fine. He's just spend one. Spend one from pool. Oh, glad I did. That was the fail one. Oh. It was the fail one though. <laughs> Everybody gets off, but I get a doom. So, um, how does that look? As the bridge begins, it collapses as you get to the other side. For everyone, uh, I think Saxa dives and rolls off of the bridge, trying to make space as fast as possible. Yeah, Dara kind of stumbles for a moment, um, 
before kind of grabbing both of the pups from behind him, uh, Finn and Fife, and kind of tossing them in front of him as the thing kind of goes actually up actually of instead of doom, what happens is you can only grab one of the pups and one of them is going down. Oh man, that's rough. That's rough. Okay. Um. Oh no. See now I have to do a bad thing because he's not willing to let Fee and her Fife go down. You see him grab Fife and kind of toss Fife towards you, kind of into you, right? And he uh, is going to leap off after Fee and, uh, <laughs> and, and do sorcery. <laughs> Bye. Sorcery as he's fall he, down into the crevice. Yeah, you see Fian uh, begin to fall down the kind of rocks tumbling alongside him. Fife is like slammed into you and kind of whining and uh, groaning and Dara basically dives off um, and now I'm going to have to do sorcery. <laughs> and of course I used a momentum from the pool which wasn't great. Um, so I'm going to do a bad thing and scare all of you very badly. Um, <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry! The only way! It's the only way to save his boy. He's a, such a good boy. Um, so here's my surgery test. You're only 20s. Out. Perfect, so that's five. Um, so, Dara... What's the difficulty? The down, uh, it's difficulty one, and then the... Uh, let me double check, actually, because that might be a little bit higher for that one. Um... I'm I'm gonna increase the difficulty because you're doing it while you're jumping off a bridge. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. So uh, probably like difficulty two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's gonna be difficulty two. It'll be one resolve, and then um, so basically he's going to grow these massive uh, leathery bat-like wings um, to hold him aloft as he goes down, and um, I assume he'd need to do it test to catch Fian before Fian hits the bottom anyway. Yes. Um, aside. So I'm going to use um, a beast in part, right, which is um, uh, handles demon threat and action, basically. So in, in the purposes of once I get back up, everybody else is well, because I'm going to be scary. Um, as these kind of horrific leathery bat like wings burst out from his clothing um, on the way down. Um, so that's the two, and then I've got three momentum from that. I will spend the one for flight, and then, um, and then I'll reduce the resolve, actually. Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to, uh, uh, actually increase, what is the one for, what, what would you say grabbing it would be? Probably, like, athletics, right? It would be athletics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Difficulty I'll... two, athletics. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I'll use nature's brawn, then, uh, to kind of, uh, you know, buff up his form to be able to actually stand catching the thing as he kind of takes off this almost chi kind of chimeric look. You know, like these slit bat like features begin to kind of come over him. But there's also this under, underneath that, there's this much more bestial shape and tone as he, his uh, feet, you know, you know how the wolf's feet are where they're like, uh, is it detrograde? Is that the term? You know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. where they, the heel is raised up and higher. It's, it's yeah, yeah. really quite monstrous. Um, and so I rolled uh, three combat dice, um, which I think there's a mac there is a macro four. Um, yes, there is. Dice, three. Um, so I gained three agility. Um, so it temporarily puts me at fifth or 14 agility for my mm -hmm. test for athletics to save. Do you have any athletics focus? Um, I have one. Okay, so 15, yeah. so go ahead and just roll them. Cool. Um, athletics. And we do have a little bit left in the pool. I'm not reducing my resolve, so that adds one, actually. Um, so I'll use the one, at least. Uh, so I don't want to lose my pup. Did that go? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Probably it's not. Success one. Oh, wow. Um, how does it look as you grab it momentarily and then it plummets into the abyss? Yeah, Darag is like halfway down and he uh, catches Fion and there's this kind of look of joy and Fion kind of fear almost. Of course, there's this big scary dude, but he knows it's Darag. As he kind of grabs Fion and kind of the impact of as he spreads the wings out and the impact of that 
air against his wings shakes him as Fionn drops down and falls far out of sight, far too quick for Dard to catch up as there is a loud squelch and yelp far below. Um, it is quite dour um, for Darag down below in the darkness as he kind of beats these massive powerful wings before he lets out this sigh and groan and I do actually take a trauma from that uh, because I have part of one of my spells for commune with wild is you keep upkeep it basically on like mm -hmm. companion type animals and when you lose one you uh, take a trauma gotcha got it so he is just distraught as the th uh, well, four of you now, technically, and five see him kind of erupt back up above the bridge and kind of land at the edge of it, this monstrous version of Darag. Uh, <laughs> born from the back and everything. So that, let me see, is... Um, so it's D1 threat in action, as if uh, the spell were persuade with momentum adding two. So since it was a five, that's four... Uh, times okay, so eight damage dice worth um, of threat uh, of yeah of of mental harm. Did they? Uh, what did they roll to resist it? Uh, whatever the mental resist uh, discipline, discipline in this case, I assume. Same as a normal yeah. Dis threat. I mean, what's the difficulty? I'm sorry. Oh, um, as uh, difficulty whatever, threat in action. Uh, whatever the threat in action would be in this case, it would be as per the spell, which would be five. Right? Okay. When you go up against a contested one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so difficulty five, five for everyone. Sorry, as I you see. Because. <laughs> well, it's. it's com I mean, yeah, but it, what's the what's the well, combat dice and. Eight. And damage? Eight? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, actually, yeah. Wait. Uh, wait. wait. Are you saying so we're sad? Sex is not sad. No, it's not no, sad. but it's yeah. fear because it's, see, it's seeing fear. him as a monster, oh, basically. Okay. okay. Yeah, he uh, he is genuinely like a horrifying Batman, literally at this point, like a bat monstrous, like bestial shaped. Uh, with so what are we rolling? Think man uh, man. You're ro you're rolling um, discipline versus uh, difficulty five, I guess. Ooh, I think I have a ability for making that easier. I do. Two. Yeah, because but I'm not gonna reroll. Yeah, I guess it would be five. Yeah, because it's average D one threat, and so it's just as normal with uh, momentum adding uh, two damage to resolve damage inflicted instead of uh, usual one point. Yeah. I'm so confused. So I'm just fucked, basically. <laughs> uh, but I guess I'll try. I don't think I can. I do have uh, something to. So we we'll take five. Uh, no, you, you, the difficulty is five. Okay. You'll take eight combat dice worth of uh, mental damage, which could be a lot. Last we'll see. It could it if could I kill you all, right, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, 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 I don't think it, I don't think it'll kill anybody. I, I but... don't think it should. Yeah, because you, you I have nine, have so it very much could kill me. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. Well, you'd have oh, to have no. five. You'd yeah, have you'd to have, have five wounds. Let me double check real quick. Um, okay, we've got two momentum. Yeah. All right. I'm um, I'm gonna use uh, spending. <laughs> a momentum for discipline. Okay. You can also buy you. So you can buy momentum with doom. So you can give me doom and get as much momentum as you want. Well, up to three. But um, I'm not passing this anyway. Yeah. You'd have five dice. Uh, I don't want to feed you that much fucking doom. I'd rather just eat shit. <laughs> um, so, I'll just roll with if she if uh, I'll go ahead. Um, go ahead. I only got uh, two successes. Okay, okay, go ahead and roll. I'll uh, for I'm just gonna do this uh, one at a time. So I'm gonna do the combat die eight of them. Okay, okay, so <gasps> ten. Um, oh my god. Oh. There's courage as well. Uh, yeah, what's your courage? Do you have any? I uh, so where's courage? Well, this is for sex, right? It's it's on the oh. it's under bonus. It's on where your armor is basically. You have zero sex. Yeah, it I says, don't. So, so you're gonna take ten. Um, so that leaves you at one. 
Um, I'm not going to bother with, uh, since this is, you're not in, it'll replenish basically, but you're going to take um, the uh, harm from it. So so basically what these do, they're like wounds only for mental effects, so, so anything you do, blue. yeah, it's, it comes off the blue, but it, don't worry about um, doing the subtraction because um, the scene is over, so everything gets refilled. But you took a you took a harm. Um, I can't remember what the mental one's specifically trauma. called, but trauma. So uh, basically, any of your mental attributes now are a difficulty higher for the rest of the game, essentially. <laughs> so I'll let whoever's next to go. Uh, I have to spend the moment to try to, I think, because it could just kill me. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> I already, I already well, the, the most, the most you it shouldn't be enough. To, the most you could get is two in one. If uh, so, basically, if he does, if you do, if he did ten to you, say. I mean, he just um, did ten, and I'm fucked. So I mean, well, if, if you get to, if you get to zero, you're not dead, right? No, yeah. It, it would be you would, you would just you would get one. You would get one for taking more than five, and then you would get one for being at zero. Oh, you so, know what? You're right. It is I don't want two, two trauma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it is only so two, I'll try to. Good. I'll try to spend. Maybe Do it. Get maybe roll double ones. You'll be fine. Triple ones. You've got okay. this. Oh, you know what? We haven't been using Sai before. No. We use this. Go on. Um, don't don't we still have um fortune? Um. That you can add a fortune, and that's an automatic blunt if you use a fortune. On yeah, one. It wouldn't help that's, that still wouldn't help him. Uh, so you take one. Kiva. Mm, I take one. Uh, wait. No, you haven't rolled yet. I did. You need to roll I your... rolled oh, you... two. I failed. Oh, okay. You failed. Here. Okay. Let's do yours now. Um... Oh. I, uh, you... I do have courage three. Okay, so you you don't it, nothing happens to you. Do you have courage, Baylor? You have enough. Fuck no. Okay. Um, okay. So what does oh, it look dear. like as you see? How's Derek as well? Um, oh, well, he doesn't have Mentally stats, broken. but I'll um, I'll just roll the I'll yeah. Let's do this. I'll just roll the comet. Actually, he takes it pretty well. Um, <laughs> better than uh, better than some. That's the actually, you, you, dirtiness. You also, you actually, you only all took one, so you're scared, but it's not. Keep it fine. Yeah, you're never going to yeah. be able to get the mental image of Bat Darug out of your head. Yeah, Derek's like, what? What is he? Zax has taken her weapon out. <clears throat> uh, what in calm is this? Shall I kill him for you? And she turns to Diarg. Dara kind of, the wings again kind of flap and he takes the air again. No killing anyone! My... <laughs> and he kind of grumbles for a moment as he looks back down into the chasm and he kind of flies over a lawn here next to Fife and leans down next to Fife and uh, he kind of whispers something almost it looks like as he kind of pats at Fife and you see the wings begin to retract the kind of uh, strange, monstrous features uh, withdraw. His clothes are stretched and tattered a bit here and there, but in the back of his uh, uh, torso, basically, armor is completely fucked. Uh, I'd say that's destroyed, because I didn't spend the stuff to uh, keep that intact. Mm -hmm. um, as he kind of pretty much rips off the tattered remains of it and kind of lets it fall to the ground as he sits on the edge and looks down alongside Fife. Damn it! Not fast enough. Should be faster. Next time. But we must keep moving. No time for being sad about dogs. You all look... And she kind of looks around to everybody. You all look shaken. Poor Fian. He was so good. Ah, and Dara kind of growls out again and grabs the kind of rock from next to him and throws it across the chasm. This man is not right. 
He is a monster. Turn Once into a have... fucking Batman. He puts his uh, axes back along his waist and wipes the sweat from his brow. Dirig leans in to you two next to him. Once this is done, he must go. From my sight, never to be seen again. Saxa nods. Mm. If you say it, it will be done. But there are times when it might be helpful to have a monster of your own. He considers. <sighs> Come, we need to get out of here. This place is no home for us. <clears throat> we continue. Darug! Yeah. Cease your magics. I'm coming. He kind of gets up and picks up Fife somewhat gingerly, although he seems to have no problem lifting the wolf as he kind of starts stepping towards you all again. Man you stepped away. Oh, okay, we can give it a couple seconds. Cool. Poor Fian is dead. He couldn't save his pop. Oh, so sad. Oh my God! Actually, shit. You know what? He would have. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. He would have. It's too late now, of course, because he already did it. But I rolled a 13. And I forgot it was target 15. Temporarily. So, shame. It's better this way. <laughs> it's way more interesting. Stop okay. looking at my puppy that way. <laughs> um, you head out of the cave, um, and you uh, see that it's daylight out. Um, uh, you head into the you know, the foothills. Dear sister, where is this place? Is it close? And you know that it is. should be like a mile down in, in the hills there. Yes, yes, just a mile down that way. Very, very quick. I cannot wait until we get to cousin and raise an army. How will we get back? Oh, we can't go same way. Around! We've done it before, or at least I have. Very well. He gives Darag a wary look as you head into the um, head closer. I'll let you guys roleplay if you have anything to say. Darag's kind of bringing up the rear a bit, following along with Fife. Damn it. Damn it. And kind of just moaning and groaning the whole way, pretty much. Kind of looks, kind of regains his sense of self as he looks around the almost beautiful mountain pass, if not outright. As he kind of looks here, there's, we'll be there soon, yes? Yes, yes, we'll be there soon. Good. Lost my damn pup. You know what we also lost? Uh, most of our clan. Yeah, true. But the clan wasn't my pop. I didn't know it was your clan. And Saxa keeps fairly quiet. She just keeps casting looks over in Derek's direction. She's definitely not overseeing him as a monster. Kind of looks as her gaze lingers a bit long on him. What do you want, Saxa? You keep looking at me funny. She presses her lips together. I do not know what to make of you, Darag. I always spoke up for you before. But this... 
why do you think I can't use my proper magics around the village? Around the clan? Well, Chief didn't like it. Scared people. So scared, everyone. I was not scared. But yeah. It was unnatural. Not unnatural. It's the right way. If you have a sag, it's the old way. A word of advice, Darag. You must show your loyalty the, to the clan more than ever now. Something like that. It erodes trust. <laughs> yes, you're one to talk, aren't you, Berserker? Mm. You know, it's but... not different. Darag, but that is the way of Krom! And Saxon nods. It is Grom's will what happens to me. I suppose. Yeah. When I'm done with, Devil Saw will choose where I go, what I do. Hunt for eons. Dag. <laughs> she, sh she shakes her head. These are the words that should not be coming through your mouth right now. I suggest you think before you speak. Those tongues be pulled. You all have much to learn. You have much plan. to learn. Everyone does. I don't know. There, enough of this. We are close to the cousins. And when we have it, we will have our clan back. And we will have vengeance. We'll decide what to do with this sorcerer later. If you don't like it, you can always cast me out. Although, he kind of... I might! Dark grins. Your father didn't want to, though. Enough you were not this. so powerful to keep him alive, were you? <laughs> I wasn't there. He kept me around for a reason, Pop. Duh. He just <laughs> walks on, not interested in arguing. Sticks close to Baylor. You finally head into the valley and you see in the distance a town. Um, a village. Um, I would like uh, people to give me an observation difficulty too. Three if you're insane. It would be. <laughs> it is actually yes. Nope. It would be. So that's everybody. Oh, except, except for Kiva. Oh uh, yeah, except for Kiva. Too busy staring at staring daggers at Dag. Oh, we don't have any momentum either. <laughs> nope. Interesting how this is. Works. This is how this game always works. Oh, we're just gonna use all <laughs> our momentum and get it all. Oh, it'll build itself back up and then. At the end, it's not there. It seems to always happen. Where I was about to take 12 mental damage. <laughs> I had to not take mental damage. <laughs> um, yeah, everything seems fine. Um, Yay, we continue. We're almost there. <laughs> you walk into the town. Um, you see someone, uh, on their, you know, outside their door and they give a smile and a wave and walk inside. Um, there's not many people about, uh, you know that they are also fighting the picks, so there could be, um, you know, most of the people could be away, potentially, um, but you've won a great battle, um, so, um, they did leave before you. Um, so they should all be back by now. Is there any damage to the village? No. Mm -mm. I have never been near Kiva. Where is your cousin? Here somewhere. It's been a long time since I've been here, but... Oh, yeah, uh... Um, Tarag would actually leave Fife outside of the village. That's fine. Um, yeah, just because, you know, 
village that he doesn't go to really ever. Uh, doesn't want to just be like, oh yeah, here's my wolf. Oran's prey over watching over Fife too, so it's pretty much just Jarg right now. Yep, that's fine. So would Kiva know approximately where she'd find Tukkaz? Yeah, there, there's a huge, um, huge long hall in the middle of the town um, that you can see in the distance. There's smoke coming out of the chimney. Just go uh, towards that way. Yeah, as everybody gets in the square, you hear somebody call out, ah, I knew it! I knew what you would do! I knew that you would come here, and we've beaten you. Uh, <clears throat> you see up to, um, up this way on the path, uh, I'll ping it, um, a huge man um, who is uh, Kiva, it is your uncle. Up here, yes. Yes, yes. And then <laughs> well, we're back men, here, yeah. men come out of this building right here as well. Well, niece, nephew, you must have come over the mountains. <sighs> you cowards! How did you get here so quickly? Horseback, of course. When we came back and couldn't find the boy, we knew what you had done. You don't really think that my brother and I are so different? I have made that trip many times. Is there some sort of mental role you can do that's like intimidation? Yep. Or you can break Absolutely. I Absolutely. I it's a um, really glare. I don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, there's steely you know, glare. There's steely other glare. ones too. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. got. I'm good at steely glare. Saxa is gonna just whip out that axe again, and she's gonna look at them and say, "Leave now, and I will let you live. I am Saxa, and Krom rides in me." You're pointing at the warriors? Yes, I'm not going to try to intimidate the uncle. He's he's just going to die. She's going to give these warriors a chance to run. So, how do you do Steely Glare? Uh, you would roll your roll that Steely Glare. Um, it should have um, the person... It sh it's personality. Um, it should all be worked in. I think you should have a button for it. You can spend, uh, it's the same, it, I think he has to do a, um, how does that work? Do you know, Aki? I think it, I'm pretty sure it's discipline against, uh, contested roles, right? Basically. Yeah, but does he get an automatic contested role? I don't know. Um, the Warriors or the Warlord? Oh, the Warriors, um. Well, I mean, when you attack somebody, you don't get a contested role necessarily. If you don't have parry. Oh, well, no, but for this, it's discipline. Yeah, I'm just saying, does it work the same? Um, I guess it would use up their reaction, yeah. Um, if that's okay. what you mean. That's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, but otherwise I'll, have to, I'll have to give you a momentum to do it, probably. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll yours, and then you can use whatever momentum you want. But. Uh... I don't think you have any. No, yeah, it's but, two damage, stun quality, no. which is all built in, I believe, yeah. Yeah. She does an, um, she does an extra damage dice from Force of okay. Personality. Yep, just do that. Uh, you have that button. It's the first one. Nada. Alright, so they're going to try the discipline. Well... You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna defend to give you a momentum. So that's uh, three damage, um, but you generated um, you generated one momentum. Um, that is enough. That's not enough. Yeah, it just was not quite enough. So um, one of them looks a little unsure uh, about it, and the other says, "We have Crom with us, and we will fight you." And um, we can jump into initiative now. Yes. 
fucking. I think you're. I think you're actually. Your difficulty was one higher too because of your. Oh, mental. the mental. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't generate that momentum. Okay. So uh, you guys are up. I'm going to spend two doom to grab the initiative. And these warriors are going to. Hmm. Who do I want to attack? Actually, the war there's um, the guys from behind are going to come out and attack Baylor, this minion group. So shoot it. There we go. Uh, spear, dice four. I love minion groups. <laughs> you can give me a doom to parry if you would like. I don't even know if I could win that. I mean, they're not doing much damage regardless. I believe it. What's your soak on your right arm? Uh, one. So it'd be zero for piercing. That's going to do a wound if you let it let it ride. I don't have any... I mean, I'd have to roll under expertise to even... I need to admit to match successes or beat them. I think to um, Parry, so so they had to beat a two. Mm. Um, so a parry, I believe you have to meet it. So I have to meet three. Mm -hmm. They have reached three as well, actually. But that doesn't matter for parry. But. Uh, I don't even have any momentum, so I don't. I, uh, I'd have to do. I'd have to roll. Well, you can you can give me doom. You can give me doom. I'm just feeding it. Ugh. Or a fortune to roll an auto one. That's a good point as well. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll roll. give one doom to parry, and then I'll. You you had to fortune a fortune spend before it, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll give you one doom to parry, and then I'll spend a fortune to generate a one automatically. So that's two successes immediately. Let's just hope for at least one. Yep. So how does that look as these four guys run up on you with spears? Uh, so Baylor's battle axes come out, one in each hand. He starts kind of whirling around, trying to knock spear points back. You'll have to do better than that. Yeah, they're cursing. Kill him, kill him! And then it is your turn. Um, Whoever wants to go. I want to go ham. Go okay. ham. Um, I will, uh, I want to wipe these out, so I have, I have one more fortune spend, and I'm, I think I'm going to mm -hmm. do it before this roll for the attack, okay. and just go so in with two successes axe. immediately. Uh, battle Axe is on the minions, where's the, you should have a button. Just roll Battle Axe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see. I melee talents real quick to make sure. Nope, nothing for extras. So this is two. So that's so four. Uh, four. Mm -hmm. um, so they have you have they have reached three. So your difficulty is increased by one. Um, so that's uh, you generate one momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, you hit five damage. Plus intense and vicious. Yep, three of them are gonna get. Uh, Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, they have soak. They have soak. So, um, so intent intense does uh, one for every effect, right? Uh, um, just, intense is just one, one more additional um, wound or whatever yeah. it is. Right. Okay, so vi vicious does one. Vicious does effect, one right? additional. Okay, yeah. so that's eight damage minus their two soak. So it's six. Um, I then, am gonna mm -hmm. use. I have a. Mm -hmm. I have no mercy. So no, when mm -hmm. you make a melee attack, you may re-roll a number of damage dice equal mm -hmm. to the number of melee talents. Let's see if there's. Yeah, there's no. There's no. Um, uh, momentum spend for that. This is. So I'm gonna do that for. I can. I have two melee talents. So you can do I, two. Yep, I'll do two of the blank ones. Mm-hmm. Nice. And nice. one more and effect. Another. Yep. Yep. So that's uh, six with four effects. So that's ten damage. Um, 
Alright, that's 10 damage, so that's gonna kill the Wouldn't first one. No. Uh, well, did I miss something? Soak, I guess. So, yeah, he has. They have Soka 2, so 5 plus. 5. Uh, plus so 6 plus, plus 4 minus 2, right? It would be 7 yep. plus 4. No. 1, 2. Where are you getting set in? It's 5 and then 2. And then uh, there's. Oh, there's 4 effects, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so what are we looking at? Sorry. Eleven. Damage. Eleven minus two. Somewhere. Eleven. So nine. That guy dies, and this guy's at four. Right. Did you earn in momentum? I did earn one. I didn't. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna okay. save for the pool because we, we need it. But then uh, intense would do an additional wound. Yeah. So that's just gonna kill him. So how's it look as you kill those two? Uh, after they come charging out and backing up with the spears, he just kind of throws himself in the middle of them and. Uh, swings one axe and it cleaves through one of their skulls and he just falls over limp and brain disconnect and uh, then slams the other axe down the middle of one's head. Ah, uh, two strikes, two kills, two more on the way. Nice. All right, who's next? Uh, I think Saxa would be. She's usually first. He got the jump on her. She uh, looks over at um, Baylor and smiles approvingly, smells the blood in the air, rolls her shoulders back, and lets out her war cry and charges Warrior 2. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, my screen's going crazy. I'm going to spend the momentum that's in the pool. Um, mm -hmm. And... And she's going to spend her... Holy shit, that's, well, that's five successes, so you Fucking know. Shit. Well, she also has... Um, my screen's being crazy. I can't oh, see. Actually... Let, let, let me turn off... The, see, let me turn this dynamic lighting off, okay. see if that helps. So, yeah, she does five, six damage just from seven, actually. Seven damage from that, including intense, vicious. Knocks him down. Mm -hmm. um, and she's going to spend her other two momentum to... Um, I think so. So you, so you actually generated... you. So your successes are five, so you generate two momentum right there. Oh, right. well, she still had three, two. three momentum. She Sorry. she still had two left over from just the wild fury. So she right. adds mm -hmm. that to her damage, and she's going to spend the other two to do the the combat maneuver where you add that damage to s the half of that damage to another op uh, opponent. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your total damage was what? One, two, three, I mean, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So nine will kill the first guy right off. Uh, then this other guy would take four. Um, okay. Well, I think and then, just with hmm. groups, it, the damage carries over, right? So right, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. To, oh, yeah. Okay. No, she didn't. She had did nine. They have five vigor, so. Did oh, and five then and then soak. four. Yeah. Okay. Why well, I didn't even actually the soak makes it even less. This guy would only take two. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. I okay, and then that. and then you're doing the combat maneuver for what? That um, well, there's the combat maneuver that has half the damage go to someone mm -hmm. else. Yep, you could do that to this guy and kill him. Yeah, that's what she's gonna do. Okay. Yeah, that's why I went. I was just confused. Yeah, how does it look as you kill two guys off? Yeah, she charges forward and she swings the axe horizontally, slicing through one guy and uh, getting it stuck in the chest of the other. She kicks him off of the axe as she pulls it out and his body falls to the ground. Nice. <laughs> Kiva or Derig? Um, Kiva will just step forward with Saxa, I think, and 
she'll engage with these guys. But um, let's see. Now oh, we only have one momentum in the pool. That sucks. Um, I can't do a swift action. Um, I'm just gonna have to attack then. Okay. Uh, okay. Just with the yeah. I don't think I don't know if I hit because I have reach one. Yeah, they they would. Oh, you have reach one. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys have oh, these guys have broadswords. I'm just gonna roll to see what their reach is. I think it's two. Uh, okay. Yeah, so so that would actually be a miss. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Unfortunately, that's okay. So they they keep you at bay where you try to punch them and they're just like swinging their swords about and you can't get inside their defenses. Um, I was going to say, uh, don't forget, mm. you can always use the break guard uh, thing, momentum spend, uh, yeah. as well, to get in there close and take That's only, it's two, though, is the only thing. Oh. Like, yeah, you only have cool. one, but you you can give me doom, though. Don't oh, yeah, you can give him doom, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll give you doom so I can okay. spend that so I can hit. Mm-hmm. So minus one momentum plus one doom for me, and then you would hit uh, five damage. What does unforgiving do, Aki? Do you know? So unforgiving, I looked. The, I was reading yeah, that. Whatever. Basically, I have to use. Um, I have to use a swift action in order to use exploit first. It seems, okay. and then it goes into vicious. So it's I, the burn combo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. scary mm -hmm. as hell. <laughs> okay, so uh, six. He has. Uh, he has a soak of two. Um, so he's going to have one hit point left. Keep it just charge in there and it's kind of a whirlwind with these punch daggers as she just goes in, ripping them apart. Yep. Darug, what are you doing? Yeah, Darug sees this guy come on, sees the his men start getting attacked and destroyed by the others and he sees the guy's hounds come out you know behind which presumably he's getting ready to you know let after us right mm -hmm. um so darog is going to do a very stupid thing uh and that is cast sorcery while he has trauma because uh -oh. <laughs> that's willpower mm -hmm. um so yeah i'm gonna cast uh which of course of all the things i mean do we should he just go in straight? No, of course not. He's dark. He's weird. Um, so it's going to be a target of four because he's targeting the four hounds. Um, plus one. Oh, yeah, plus one, so it would be five. Ooh, that would be a lot of doom. It's probably not worth it. No, yeah, so oh, yeah, that'd be that many is too much, but two that would only be a target of three. Mm -hmm. So I'll try and take control of these two right here, the two okay. front hounds. Mm -hmm. um, so let me uh, cast my sorcery. Um, now I am going to. Oh, that's the wrong button. Um, uh, we don't have any momentum, do we? I don't think so. Mm -mm. It's a target of three. Oh. I'm gonna have to give you a doom anyway, um, just in case, because we don't want to fuck this up. And uh, there we go. Okay, nice. So that's a four. Four successes. So one momentum extra. Mm -hmm. Which, actually, yeah, I can use to target one more of the hounds um, with that, actually. Oh, no, because that's... Oh, no, yeah, that's a momentum spend, actually. Yeah, so um, with that, I can target three of the... Or, yeah, three okay. of the hounds. Mm -hmm. um, so these three closest to him... Um, and I control them as if I did animal handling with two momentum on it. So pretty okay. much I'm going to try and turn them against him. Yep. All right. So that's your spend for this. That's your action for this round. Mm-hmm. And, okay. uh, yeah. and he's going to move up here. Yeah. Derek's said, I'll kill you, uncle! And he makes a double act er, action and move oh, no. to charge uncle. I was just about to like get in his way and be like, wait here, you know. And then I sent the three dogs berserk to attack their master, and then he was like, and it's their turn. Uh, the warriors are gonna um, attack. Uh, let's see. 
And they're going to attack Kiva um, with their broadswords. I can parry. Yes. Oh, they miss anyway. They just whiff. Yeah, minions when they don't have a full squad is not good. Um, so they miss. Um, the one uh, dog, he, get them! Get the rest of them, I'll take this pup! And this dog runs all the way down here. He can't act. And he's going to attack Derek. Ha <laughs> boy! You should have known when to stay put. He's actually going to do Steely Glare. Oh, nice. Because <laughs> Derek has already pissed himself over me. <laughs> I'm going to spend one Doom. Ooh. Four. He's going to roll Discipline. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm got... Yeah, no. So he's going to pump the damage. Three combat. Uh, uh, just three, actually. So that'll give him another mental effect. So he's got two now. No! And so that's his action. I think his resolve is... I'll just say he's got five left. Um, and I think that's it for me. Oh, uh, these... Uh, I was gonna let him go on your turn. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, is so they can go now. They can go now. Yeah, Every, all you guys go now. Uh huh. Doggos kill bad guy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, dark um, barks and uh, growls like a hound himself. As the uh, you see, you guys see the uh, the hounds over here almost seem to mimic and then kind of look up towards their master. With these sinister growls and snarling teeth as they leap for him. So, would you like to put any momentum in or into it or anything? Um, I think I'll just let them do their own thing. Darg himself is gonna uh, move up. Uh, yep, they miss in complications. So I'll take the doom. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna take the doom. I'm gonna say one of the one of them comes to their senses. Oh, that uh, makes for sense. the complications, it's like, Arr! and so you have control two now. Okay. Yeah, Derek. Uh, oh shit, he sees Derek there, and he already knows he's in deep shit. He's going to run up. Um, would you say he's able to get up there and do his attack? I would not say that. You're. That's a. That would be more than medium. Okay. You know what I'll do is I'll move up like so. Um just a ways, so that I'm a bit closer mm -hmm. up. Yeah, next and turn you'll I'm, be able to. Yeah, so I'll move up, and then I'm gonna cast. Darg is gonna have to do some heavy lifting. He's gonna do it a bit more discreetly, though, as the weird guttural growls and roars come out from Darg, and I'm going to attempt to cast my buff spell on myself. Okay. Um, so I will do that. Um, do we have any momentum? No. No, okay. I don't think so. You I'm can always right. click on status to see. But oh yeah, you're, you're not. right. Sorry, you do not. Okay, well that's gonna be a doom then. Uh, so you get one doom, but I get four. Huzzah! It's always worth it <laughs> until it's not. Um, what is the difficulty? Form of beast. Um, well, it's difficulty one, and then the, the uh, okay. momentum to spend to because I'm buffing myself basically. Mm -hmm. um, so it's one. Uh, to stay in my normal form, he grows claws, uh, which aren't scary, sadly. Um, well, luckily for you guys. Um, as additional resolve, I'm going to increase my uh, that. So that's one, uh, one, two. Uh, yeah, you know what? I can actually increase both, but I'm going to lose a bit more resolve. Um, so I'll do that. Because okay. I've got three momentum from it, so that'll leave one in the pool. Okay. All right. Because um, I want to make sure we have some. So it put me at 11. Um, the three from the casting, and then it's going to be one upkeep per round. Okay. Um, uh, just re did you re reduce your resolve? I just got to roll, roll the dice. Um, okay, go ahead. So two. So that puts my uh, agility up to uh, 13. Okay. 
Just to update your character sheet so we don't forget. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, Saxa, Kiva, or Baylor? I think Saxa looks at Kiva, her eyes starting to roll back in her head and foam starting to come from her mouth. Derek, Kiva, get away from me. <clears throat> oh, dear brother. She just nods. Is it dog? And, well, go ahead. Axa will, will attack. Okay, go ahead. Um, this time I'm going to use one of my Wild Fury momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, as on it. Okay, um, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a miss. That's oh, a it's miss. a miss. Okay. Mm, gotta have two. Um, so well, I get. She's still got two combat momentum left, though, so she could. Uh, use uh, that okay. Up. If you got something, you can use it on. You can't use it to hit him. No. Um. Do you still have fortune? Yeah, I do. It needs to be spent before the. Yeah, it needs. Oh, to be, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um. So I have. Uh, I can spend two doom to get you to attack a. Adjacent person, right? Yeah, but it do it doesn't necessarily say you get to pick. <laughs> it just says uh, <laughs> it says that I have to attack an adjacent person, but it's kind of I would say random. It doesn't say random, and it doesn't say you get to pick. Okay, I'll I'll, do, I'll let it fly then. I won't do it. Uh, okay. But they get two moment two momentum against you. Three yes, momentum? yes, they do. When it's their turn. Okay. So um. I really doubt there's much you can do because usually that stuff yeah, is. Yeah, I could hit. I could do a second wind, but I'm not down any damage right now. Yeah, you could swift attack, couldn't you? Swift action, you could you swift action. I gain another standard action. Yeah, you could do that yeah. with, yeah. The, with the increased difficulty, right? Is it does increase the difficulty Ooh. by one, but I mean, if yeah. you've got two con momentum and you can't spend on anything else, yeah, you could roll under yeah. your thing anyway. Okay. Yeah, you, it's difficulty three, but go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shoot. I, okay. I was. I would have said fortune, but I did. Let's not. go ahead. Go ahead and do it. it. That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and do it. Okay. So you would hit. Um, four, it would be four. Five, six, four. Seven, eight. It would be eight damage. Yeah. So that would. Uh, it would not kill them both. That'd be sick. That'd kill this, this guy, guy is knocked down too. Okay. Intense. So. Whoever oh, yeah. I hit first. Yeah, inti down. intense, intense would kill them both because the wound. Yep. Yeah. So how does it look as you end up killing them both? Uh, yeah, she swings and uh, the first guy kind of jumps back and she focuses her rage and joy and on the backswing she cleaves up, catching them both in the torso, uh, spilling their innards onto the turf. And then she turns and looks at Kiva with a wild look in her eye. I will spend Doom to make you attack her. <laughs> now, does that give me an extra action? Or do I have to do it next time? It's just a GM thing. I think yep. you just do it right now. Yep. Okay. Just like he can spend it to have, like, you know, something bad happen in general. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's difficulty it's three so because, uh, because yeah. of the reach. Let's no, Fortune. You could you could give me doom to uh, give yourself extra dice. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give. Uh... You could also fortune for two immediate successes. Yep. Yeah, but I kind of want to save the fortune for other things. That's the only thing. Um. Um. Well, you you don't true. want to get hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll I'll spend the fortune then for two. You have three, right? I'm not, uh, no, no, I'm not all, sure. all the characters are made of two. Uh, you need to. Uh, yeah. There we go. So Sorry. that's that's good enough to block it. So how does it look between the both of you? Kiva, I guess knowing, um, seeing Saxa cleave the one and then cleave into the second, and then just continues just coming towards Kiva. Uh, she kind of takes out the punch daggers and just blocks it and throws it off to the. <sighs> 
Saxa just laughs. All right, Baylor or Kiva, you're both. Kiva's going to move away. Yeah, you can engage him, uh, the uh, your uncle, but you can't attack him. Uh, would I don't know? No, mm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, well, I'll move. I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. I should engage him just in case, because my my boy's there. Yeah, she'll kind of run up. Why don't you fight someone your own size, Uncle? With pleasure. Then I'll rape your corpse when you're dead! And he pulls out a huge maul. <laughs> Baylor, you're up. I guess that's me. Um, <laughs> let's, let's take a look at the state of this. Okay, momentum. Uh, shit. I, uh, I believe in myself. We will, we will save the momentum for now. You've got this. See? It's, it's definitely three. a hit. Um, so it's five after Vicious. I guess I'm going to spend a minimum momentum to see if they can parry. Um, so. I will, I'll be rerolling damage dice if it's still successful. Yeah. So... Two plus one, so three versus what? What did you roll? A three, oh, three. So that's a hit. That's a hit. So I will re-roll two damage dice that are empties. Okay. Nice. And just one more, so six. No, wait. Yes, yeah, six. Oof. Oh yeah, six, and then piercing one. So that's enough to kill one of them. Oh, I don't have piercing. Oh, that's them. Um, uh, now, post momentum spends, you can. Yeah, you can do them. Imme they're immediate. Yeah. So, I, like, you can you can bump dam. You can just say one extra damage, one extra damage per momentum. You can't spend doom on that. You can't like, but you can. Yeah, I'll do that. Did I, did I generate momentum or no? I'm a three, right? No, that was a tie. Okay. Yeah. So I will. I'll go ahead then and bump it one more just to, I think, because there's... Yeah, that'll, two. that will and kill then, one of them. And then Vicious and Intense, so they should both die. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, so Baylor again, spins the axes and cleaves the other two down just as he, just as he spoke into existence. And um, you can't move after that, right, or can I? Yeah, you can move. Yeah, you still have your move action. So I stepped away. Uh, is this dog... That dog is bad. Case. Bad dog. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sex is kind of crazy. Um, mm. I don't care. Uh, full full sprint into the dog to engage with it if that's possible this turn. Yep. Yep. You can do that. Um. So I think Dark. everybody's acted. Oh yeah, yeah. Dark already acted. Yeah. He yeah. Dark moved himself. the cat. Yeah. Um. Yep. Uh. First thing is uh. Uh, Does he do anything? Oh yeah, he's gonna attack, attack Uncle. Um, Poor scared boy. Watch these crits. Aww. Misses. <laughs> he just he he basically Derek comes to hit him and Uncle smashes him with a backhand against the wall and oh. he just kind of slumps to the ground and then he wheels around his maul and swings it at Kiva with extremely deadly intent. I'm going to spend two doom to roll four dice. Oh my god. Alright. So, that's going to be... Although I just uh, get a 20. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you get was... a momentum for that. Okay. So this so is weird. Have... So I, I have four successes, but you get a momentum. Mm -hmm. So I need a four. I need four successes to parry. Yeah. Oh no, five. Uh, five. five. Yes. Okay. And you'll well, take fourteen damage to the head if you do not succeed. Yeah, I'm gonna spend. Ooh. I gotta spend both those momentum to get four. You have you have a fortune point too, so that'll There's be your two last one. successes. Yeah. So for I'll spend two momentum and then one of my fortune. It's two, one. and then you've got four dice. Yep. Ugh. I don't want to die. Luck. You got this. It'll be fine. 
Oh. And I generated Six. Like, yeah, you generated momentum. two momentum. Yeah. So how does it look as you parry this huge maul with your two punch daggers? So it comes down towards Kiva's head and she just holds her arms, uh, kind of crossing the punch daggers together and just keeping him at bay somehow. Can, she kind of is a bit straining underneath the weight of the maul. And though she's frustrated at first, she just grins. You've gotten weak in your old age, uncle. Ah, and um, this uh, this dog actually is um, the one dog that. Oh, it, it, it. Yeah, no, this one broke up. This one's gonna run down next to the other one and squat up. Um, then they're gonna attack. Uh, hmm. I'm not. I'm just gonna let the one attack. So it's going to try to... Actually, it's going to use a Snarl attack. Which is... Ah! So scary. Yes, ah! But Baylor didn't give a fuck. I've seen worse than you today. <laughs> yeah. Snarl kind of looks to the left. <laughs> Would you like your dogs to attack the world? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, bite two dice. Oh. Uh, you that's... control the dogs? Yeah, he yeah, took control, control of two of his dogs. <laughs> I took control of three, but mm -hmm. one of them broke free. <laughs> um, so that's three. So that is um, a hit normally. Um, he's going to not do, not care about it. Uh, let's see what his soak is. Uh, his soak is what was it? Torso three. So he would take one damage. Is there any effects? There is. They can try to grapple him. Um, oh. <laughs> you <laughs> mind how this goes? <laughs> yeah. Dog grapple to death. Let him oh kill the God. dog instead. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I I don't want I don't want to roll at all right now. It's got a hold of him. So go ahead, guys. Because we need to be done in yeah. twenty minutes. So. Yeah. yeah, Darag. Um, uh, seeing that Derek and Kiva are vaguely in danger. Uh, very in danger. <laughs> um, he charges forward, and Kiva, as he kind of comes up, you can tell it's subtle, but he is like maybe a good couple, few inches, maybe even taller than he was. He's broader, just heavier built than you're used to seeing him. As he swings down this massive great axe towards the guy, um, um, and you do notice uh, holding onto the haft of the battle axe are these rather vicious-looking nails, more like claws. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go for the battle axe. We have one momentum, don't we? Still, three. you have three. <gasps> oh, three, mm -hmm. you say? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love three to use one, but I only use one for now. Um, as Darag, uh, yeah, swings down hard at the guy. Yes. Um, oh no, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. There's so not just really the one, sadly. Yeah, yeah, he just knocks oh. it away with a half of his maul. Yeah, so he charges in and swings, but I do, there's two momentum left, so I could go for another swift. Yeah, you could do uh, that. Yeah, I think I will, because um, that battle axe is scary. So, But this one's one difficulty higher, so... Miss. Oh, damn, shame. It would suck if he got hit, but... Yeah, it's like, boom, 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 as he... Ha! All right, who goes up? Sure. Uh, let's try to ruin some dogs. Thanks. We got this. Just don't get killed by Saxa. Stop it. Yeah. You might wanna. You might wanna nope. leave one of them for her to hit. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. The the dogs are just tear. The growl got to you. Maybe I don't know. You swing and just it just comes up short. Just not as good as I think. Maybe I maybe worrying about Saxa behind you. I'm about to be much more worried when she actually goes. Let me check. I have one momentum, um, so I'm dual wielding. I can swift action for one momentum instead of two. Oh, um, nice! So I will try to do that. Do it, yep. Nice. Get away from difficulty me. Difficulty three. <laughs> Shit! That's a hit. No, difficulty three, man. Oh yeah, your second one. Increase. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. No go. Yeah. I should have used the three when I smacked it. But... All right. Uh, Sax or Akiva. Uh, Saxa, yeah, she's 
you she looks at the dogs and smiles and actually starts to growl <sighs> and she charges forward and tries to kill the dog uh, <laughs> that was a purr <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna fuck these dogs <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, she's I'm not the, the only dog. one's gonna be left out of this adventure from getting some <laughs> that's starting to sound like Darog <laughs> got him yeah, it's oh, definitely no. a hit. Generated one momentum. Uh, head. Oh Dead boy, tacos. this is gonna be. Oh yeah, mistakes. they're both. They're both dead. I'm not even gonna. Oh, you know what? My turn. <sighs> yeah, I'm spending too doomed to have you attack, <laughs> Baylor. Yeah, uh, she. She'll, so she'll much turn doom. and look at Baylor. <laughs> Run. <laughs> she thinks he's a dog. Just him growls at Baylor. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> uh, I didn't spend any momentum, so hmm. you have momentum oh, to spend, good. and That's I have, <laughs> or fortune. You don't want that. No, he's out of fortune. fortune. Um, you can, you gotta pay me doom to even do a reaction. Though. Take, take, take the doom. Yeah. Take it. Uh, I'll spend momentum because getting my left well, leg cut off. You got momentum from her as well. Yes, you've got two oh, momentum. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah against her. Yeah. So you got you got five three. dice. Yeah. I, I won't spend the extra then. Okay. I'll, use the yep. I'll roll four and okay. see what happens. Against two successes, you should be able to do no, this. You get three extra. Oh, if you roll, Woo, five, baby. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Spend the momentum to get an extra action and <laughs> run away from me, please. <laughs> he just goes first. Extra. Yeah. I'm going free. I'm going first next time. Mm -hmm. uh, Baylor yeah. parries and falls. Holy fuck! And he's <laughs> Kiva, you're it. up. I can just oh, imagine right. the crater she leaves when she misses. So we got one momentum in the pool. I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do exploit, um, which okay. means I roll observation. I think. Yes. Uh, okay. Difficulty two, I think. I think it's one. Is it one? Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. There we go. Kay. So one momentum in the pool. I'm gonna spend those two momentum to do swift action, so then I can attack. We do get one from observation. Yeah, that would give you two, because yeah. you had one before. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay. So I'll spend the two, and we have no more momentum in the pool. I think, no, right? it's okay, empty. It's um, and it chose one. I want to hit, so I'm gonna give you doom. So I can roll three. Okay. Ooh. Go for it. Yes. Um, he's gonna give you a momentum to try to parry. Effects. Shit. And then I'm gonna spend oh, no. two doom to add two dice. Oh god. So he's gonna roll four dice to parry. Fuck. Oh yeah, five. Oh, yeah, man. you you try to get close and he just takes the butt of his maul and just kind of knocks you in the chest off your attack. <laughs> you learn nothing, niece. <sighs> and he is going to attack you. Let me see how much is oh, in the pool. I can. Mm, I can Can't do. Uh, I don't know if I can do it now. Um, I. Oh, God. So, uh, when making a melee attack, I can reroll. Something. Damage dice. Damage probably. Is it no mercy? Is it mercy? It's, it's no mercy. Yeah, yeah it's uh, damage dice. Yeah. Damage. Yeah. So he, I have four doom. I'm gonna spend uh, three doom for my what? attack. So he's gonna roll five dice against you, Kiva. No. Oh, oh man! Oh man! Wow! Ooh. So you gotta just get a two here. Unku. It's a shame okay. you don't have enough to spend it as a fortune. <laughs> oh, oh, you failed! You got, and keep I get... in mind, you can spend three doom to act as a fortune for an NPC. Or it's, oh, that might be Nemesis only. Alright, so it hits anyway. Um, <laughs> Eleven. Uh, so, okay. So that's actually fourteen Four. damage. Fourteen. Uh, I'm going to... At what's your soak on your leg? Uh, one. One? One. So that'd be 13. I'm going to spend two doom to make it 15. 
So that is going to, so you get, I think that is going to knock you out. Um, so well, 10, 15, and then you'll be at zero, so that's four. That's four wounds. Yeah, that's knocked out. Yep. So he comes down with this huge maul on the side of your knee, and it just breaks it in half. Actually, uh, I can't intervene, can I? Can I use defend to, as a reaction to try and get in the way of this? How much How much uh, momentum does it cost? Um, well, I think it. Yeah, I'd have to give you another doom. Because um, defend is as per, but you're trying to defend as per parry, but you're defending someone else. Let me double check real quick. Um, Let's not do it because we just got to yeah, ask yeah. soon, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, he just crushes your leg. How does that look from your perspective? So, Kiva doesn't really even have a wherewithal to scream. Uh, her leg is just completely shattered. And she just tumbles to the ground and she's kind of laying there. It takes her a moment to register and she just kind of looks up almost in a daze as she just bleeds on the ground. Yeah, one of the bones is poking through the leg. All right, go ahead, sons and daughters of Krom. Oh, jeez. Uh, I want to get away from Saxo. So, <laughs> you can move up there and attack all of I you. I will do that. Um, Great axe party! Everybody I'll use a momentum on the attack. Okay. Oh, yes! Four. That's four. Um, I'll uh, give you a momentum to try to parry. I think it's going to cost one more. Uh, I don't think it's going to work, though. Nope. It's a hit. You generated three momentum from doing that. Uh, and then... So... It's just once. It's six right now. I'm going to do the No Mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, seven, eight. Because this is an yep. effect one. Mm -hmm. So eight. Um, how much momentum did it generate? Uh, three, I think. Okay. Okay, um, let's think of two, by the way. So technically you're at six damage. Okay. Um, so I have two momentum, you said? Uh, let's see, status. I think four. There's four momentum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so yes, that did, that did uh, eight right. minus soak, so mm -hmm. I, it does int intense would apply unless it's not through yeah, soak on his head. Uh, what, I say that again? Sorry. Oh, I'm just trying to figure oh, it was his did head. Five. Yeah. yeah, it was his head. Yeah, he so has... head eight. Mm -hmm. And then, so was that a wound or just damage? Uh, at eight? Oh, yeah, it's definitely a... So if he takes six, that's a wound. Okay, so he's taken... Yeah, two wounds, right? Two wounds. Oh, okay, so I'm going to swift action Oops. for one momentum. And then I will... Uh, I think it puts me at three. I will go in with three bonus dice on it for the attack. Swift attack. Yep, you can do that. Okay. Three. Uh, I get a doom. Um, okay. Oh man, look at all those effects. That is one, two, three, four. Six, I'm gonna 12. spend a doom to try to parry. This is not gonna be good. Uh, I mean, I just for the hell of it. No. So. Uh, it's twelve before, and I'm gonna so no mercy two of them. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna kill him because that right there is not, not even doing that. That's two, right? That's two wounds. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. That's that, that kills him. That kills him. Yeah, so Baylor sees uh, Kiva go down, Derek all messed up, Darog trying to fight, and it's almost evenly matched. No more! You die now! And just runs in and just starts chopping him up with the battle axes while Darog keeps him busy. Chops him down, leg, waist, chest, head. Yeah, you viciously murder... Um, Kiva and Derek's uncle, and you see some heads poke out of the village. Um, and go ahead and give me your final role play here as Saxa breaks out of her berserker rage as Krom comes to her and calms her. Uh, Saxa starts to run forward, axe raised, 
sees the uncle go down, starts looking around at everyone else, uh, deciding who she's going to hew down next, and uh, her eyes catch the args, and uh, she feels like an icy coolness hit her, and the axe comes down and slips from her grasp down onto the ground. <sighs> Kiva! Is Kiva all right? Yeah, you see her leg. It looks like it's 90 degrees, right? She's um, going to try to treat it. Yeah, you, she, you you begin to bandage it, and she screams out in pain, you know, falls back unconscious as you all uh, stand around the dead body of the uncle. And... Uh, Finally, the people come milling out of the houses um, and look at you, um, surprised but pleased. And uh, soon you'll find that your cousin's been executed and you have a new village on the other side of the mountains. If Kiva survives or not, it's unknown. Um, but she, uh, if she survives, will... Uh, rule with Derig uh, for some time, and the rest of your fates are up in the air with Krom. And uh, that's it. Thanks for playing. Yay. Awesome. Yay. So good. That was so fun having. That was so fucking good. <laughs>